Anyone who breaks the the hand chain will be immediately berated by all other party members. No, no I'll be immediately stoned to death. Well, no. Tough, but yeah. fair. We might damage their gear. <clears throat> I want their gear. Oh. oh my god. I hear rats squeaking. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, rats. Harrison, are you here? I can I cannot hear you? No, nor, nor can I. Hello. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um. So the bad guy got dragged north and through the floor, you said, when he died? Yes. Downward and northward? Dorthward. Yeah. Dorthward. Dwarfward. We should finish up our original objective of trying to figure out... Because I think we... The Piper guy didn't get dragged through the floor, and we thought maybe his room was nearby. So I, I think we didn't... Clear the floor? Are we still clearing the floor? Oh, wait, hang on. I was trying to find his cell on the manifest. I'm going to try again. Oh. With plus two. Knowledge religion. If any of you boobs want to assist me in reading, I'm not very good at read. Boobs. I can boobs. roll a knowledge religion. I can read. I don't know if that'll help or not either, but I'll do it anyway. Dead boss. Oh, I see that too. I just roll all my fucking knowledge skills. Fuck you guys. While Sid's, uh,. Commuting home, can you roll her skills for her? Yeah. What do you want? Knowledge religion? Yeah, she said knowledge religion. Okay, yeah. so that goes to two, four, six. There's a 23 knowledge religion to look at the prison intake docks, I think they're called. Try and see where they stuck the moss, the pipe water viper. You have most. You have those documents with you, or are they downstairs in the office? No, I took them. I fucking okay, okay. Scoop them all in there. Show also, them there. reminder: oh, you have the downstairs office that has more of a feeling of wholesomeness and less of the evil taint. It's a taint-free zone. Taint. Not for long. Oh. Free taint zone. I full move that way. Anyway, can we Stick find Jimmy's together. hole? Jimmy's room? You're looking, looking for... for the, the Piper of Ilmarsh. He His was cell. listed as being housed on the second floor, which you are now on. I think that's oh, that's all they got? Doesn't say which cell? You. Alright. Uh, he was in the northwest corner. Let's go, gang. We link hands. We march north, up the hall that we've been separated in twice now. Linking hands. Thank you. Oh, that was basically a quick shout out to Sid, wasn't it? I got you. Yar. Well, no. I mean, it wasn't her fault both times. Just the most recent time. Yeah. We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. Oh, the this leader. is like the soccer practice I was just at. <laughs> For little kids. Yeah. Harrison's with us, even if he doesn't move his token. Harrison, are you with us? We should get the uh, Ouija board. See if he's with us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Contacted spirit. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, no. I don't know how to mute it. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's okay. You're not transmitting much. Is anyone in... Anything good in this room? Any, any bugs or pipes? This area is pretty decimated. There are dozens of dead, you know, smashed skeletons that you guys fought here. And a lot of rotted wooden doors and furniture. Not a lot of structural... Well, the, the cell doors are still mostly intact. You discovered that there was some magical force kind of maintaining them, preventing them from rotting over the ravages of time like everything else here. All of the cell doors, not just some of them? Uh, yeah, the the prison itself is actually still a usable prison. Lock mm -hmm. Oh. Except for oh. where the walls are smashed out. So. Oh, well, of course. Oh. In prison. We were looking up. <laughs> Could we <sighs> roll like a group perception check to make our way through searching uh, 
cells that were adjacent to one another so that we don't get too far out, but we just like search the floor for any Viper clues. Yeah, just yeah. for environment kind of thing. Your total, what was your, with assistance, what was your total knowledge religion on checking his... 23? Yeah, 23. <clears throat> yeah, you're pretty sure he was in this hall. He had to be in one of these rooms, but you don't see any particular evidence of anyone. You know, whatever, Even after searching the rooms? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm not making you roll because there's nothing. The, right. the possessions he could have had, any prisoner, the possessions they could have had were, you know, their clothes. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we should try and go underground then. Or how late is it? Do we need to rest? Yeah, it's uh, afternoon, and um, I don't know how spent you guys are on spells. Zinvaya has Pro Evil left, Comp Languages. She has spent. She has a Resto Lesser and a Pro Evil Communal left. She's just about full, it looks like. Is my con fine? Your con is. Almost I think we healed. Never fine. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> you're actually at full health, strangely. Strangely. Strange. A rare occurrence. Switching to the green line, everybody. Uh-huh. You be safe out there. Green line's cursed. Yeah. Die. Toby, I don't know. Is this hand of the acolyte, does it spin? some kind of charges off my sheet or anything like that? It spins your hand of the acolyte charges, which you have six out of seven. Oh, I see. The only thing you guys have really spent is channels by Divaya. She is... And I should have all seven, because I just... Uh, I didn't use any on, on that in, on purpose, and then we just tested it, so we spent one. Unless you already put it back. I thought we used some. You were blasting... You channeled at least once or twice during the... Fight. I channeled. I don't think I handed the Acolyte at any during the Oh, fight, handle though. the Acolyte should be seven then. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I channeled a shitload. Okay. Got it. Three out of seven channels and full hand of the Acolyte. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So you guys are going downstairs. You're diving headlong into the pit through the broken wall. Uh, <laughs> we've cleared everything on this floor then? think so been in every okay. quadrant and there's really not much up here this okay. floor mostly you're fairly certain that everyone who died up here died of smoke inhalation oh lovely yep most of the structural damage happened after the fact or was just sort of the lower floors collapsing here and there so some structural damage came up here but there's not a lot of fire damage up here. okay so <clears throat> what are the access points to the lower floor well, I'm so glad you asked. You can take some fairly ruined stairs down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's some stairs down to the, the main floor if you should take them. How ruined are they? They are covered in sort of soot and moss they're a little slick and it's also a little damp in here but they're not structurally unsound you don't think okay all right i'll lead the way down all right all right follow stick together no running off by ourselves so everyone big bang theory of is combat. this going to be a call out every single Movement we do, fuckers. Until, until the party mom has judged oh, that our Sid, children have grown up. The brief moment when we can hear you between stations. Would you like to run off alone? <laughs> no, the answer to that is no. 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 Are you making ape, ape laughter noises on the train around other people? Yeah. Is that what's <laughs> happening right now? Yeah. All right. I swear to God, I'm gonna throw myself on the tracks. Whoa. Anyway, uh, no, I would not like to run off. Okay, you stay with the party then. This time, 
<laughs> the very like Holy shit. asking makes me <laughs> want to say yes. Is the oh, badge voice working. too loud, Josh? <laughs> this is pretty or is epic, it right? Just there. right. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> you know, I'm fine with it. I'm right. fine with it. Oh darn! I can't hear the sound in the stream, but maybe that's my fault. Nah, it's I. I can never Discord my computer. I don't know what's going on, but there's never sound in most of my streams. If you well, stream, tell him to kiss and make up. If you stream the computer screen, sucks. Okay, I'll just. I won't explain it. Let's just I'm go on. No, 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 no. I'm not streaming the screen. I'm streaming the application. Okay. Then there should be sound. It don't never work. Okay. Oh well, that's okay. Thank you. Carry there on. Sorry, guys. There were no sound for Left for Dead last night. Yeah, we can probably fix that at some point. I might get you one of these mixers. I got a simple, quickie version. No. Okay. No. Okay. Good. Good talk. So <laughs> very productive. Is. So we walk down the stairs <clears throat> as a group, not strung out, not separated, just okay. snuggling, just snuggling down the stairs. Harrison wanders off alone. God damn it, Harrison, get your no. ass. This must be the case. <laughs> I run up here and open this door. The, the nuts in your mouth. I run over here and open this door. Are you? I can't. Just running around opening doors. I, I could ran, try to unlock it if they want. I it. ran 20 feet north. Okay. Where do you want to go? This is staying in a group. Great. Roll me yeah. a survival check. Someone who's good at it. I'm good at it. Nobody I'm assist me. It. You guys all suck. Good teamwork. Assistance. 23. The way the ghost rolled. was pulled is to the west of you somewhere. The way the what? The way the ghost was pulled through the floor is to the west of you. To the west of us, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I go through this door that leads west. I Arm follow, and arm. I follow, what's his name? Gas bag, your heart. Gas bag. Gas bag, yeah, I follow gas bag. You're thinking it's either this room or this room this ghost was dragged down into. We north, take room A. North northwest or northwest? North northwest. Alright. I get ready to kick open a door. Alright. Stack up. I opened a door. Can I cast Mage Armor? Uh, you probably already you have it up. You have it up already. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay. But, but good call. Um, <laughs> okay, this room. I'll give you the flavor text. Several rusty iron tubs sit in this room along with washboards, metal buckets, and heaps of moldy clothing. Looks like this was the prison laundry. Mm. Okay. Anything fun? Or just rusty tubs? Uh, there is a... Well, let's see. When Gaspar steps into the room, as he bravely does... Brave! The... There's these piles of moldy clothing, and when you step into the room, you see something move in the moldy clothing, and mm -hmm. as you react to it. it, it's like a small animal or a child is crawling around underneath the moldy laundry pile. Uh -huh. And something flies out of it, basically straight at your face. And we shall roll initiative. Nice. It's a face crab. Roll for Vera. Roll Vera. Roll six. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh you no. You and Josh rolled threes. Yeah, I still got a pop up by that on that, by the way. Yeah, so, I might not be able to fix yep. it on that one. Harrison is not no, no, initiative. That's fine. He's still partly AFK. Yep. I see him wiggling. He might be in the tractor beam with Anna. I'm not sure. She's out there doing stuff. <laughs> Them. Ah. 17. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's see. We shall begin the combat. Mm -hmm. 
Let me do this thing's initial trick, and then we shall get to react. Tim, a lump of moldy clothing flies at Gaspar, straight at his no. face and neck, and flying out of it, you see a strange collection of leather straps and buckles. It is basically a flying straitjacket. It comes right God at damn your it. face. Yep. And it wraps around your upper torso. It grapples you. And you take nine crushing damage. You guys see this straitjacket fly up out of the ground. And if you look closely, I forgot that I did this, but there's a there's a name tag on the straight jackets icon. Look very closely. Oh my God! It says Donald J. Trump. It's wow. the Trump. It's the something collection, signature collection. Yeah, it's the Trump straight jacket, and it flies out of the moldy clothing, wraps around you, and tangles you up. You guys see this thing jump onto him, basically, and like face hugger around his body just tighten and tighten and you hear him like struggling for air and grunting in pain and dismiss it's your turn i know the best people everybody says i know the best people <laughs> oh that it doesn't do that <laughs> that's shit. not its fault the game is paused i unboozed the game okay i'm five foot here uh and look at this straight jacket okay um is this look at this art did you did you that's not photoshop did you is this this is just a piece of art that somebody has made from what donald trump straight jacket yeah 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 i didn't make it i don't know where i got it it's i remember amazing. i was looking for art of a straight jacket and it should have been a, oh. this was in the top results i would i didn't go looking for that. it would have been funny if you had done an ai generated combo of trump and a straight jacket I am slowly replacing art across all my campaigns with AI-generated stuff because I can okay. legally own it, as opposed to the other art that I steal. You know. Can I get a? Uh, well, maybe. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> You're thinking you could try to shoot it off, but that would probably injure him. Sh shoot it off, Tim? His face? Yeah, you could try to shoot the straight jacket off his body. Because is it currently is the is did it shoot a thing at him or is the the straight jacket the the thing that's attached to him? Yeah, they're um, it's grappling him. Like it's, it's grappling it's, him. Yeah, you okay, cannot. Okay. And it's and you you know this happens to Tim in every campaign. It seems like, but it <laughs> it has enveloped him and it's very thin. So if you shoot it, you damage it and Tim. Do it. Don't break tradition. Um. <laughs> Tim, you you won't take the extra smite damage. This happened to Jamal, and Freya wasted no time mm -mm. killing the enemy mm -mm. and Jamal. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think we're really good at undoing damage to living things. I will take things. the inevitable crit that this is, and it's Mass Bar will know, join the party. Could, like crit times three or times four. Yeah, I could just take eighty damage and die. Yep. Oh. Oh, but it wasn't. Okay. Wait, Tim. Uh, um. Okay, smile. <laughs> Positive. It's not the same thing as healing. But Tim, I think you only take six. Because the rest of that damage is only for evil, like the the targets of the smite. Yeah, I'm not evil. I'm a great you, guy. You blast the straight jacket hitting one of the buckles and see it shatter and the strap come loose. You hear Tim gasp for breath and then you see a big gout of blood shoot out of the hole in the straitjacket you just made. Well, maybe it's straitjacket blood. Well, that's what, well, I was going to say, maybe someone is, maybe someone is just pretending to be a straitjacket. They shapeshifted, but they still bleed, though. Gas Definitely not. Gas <laughs> up yeah, blood. Yeah, that's the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's the, that's the reality I still choose to live in, actually. Yeah. It's Kovira's turn. Okay. Um, God, I wish I could see like my options because I don't have everything memorized. Um, well, you could run in there and hack Tim with a sword. 
You could throw a dagger at him. You could shoot him with your bow. You could throw shuriken at Tim. I mean, I could uh, zap him at the, at the straight jacket. Well, at the yeah, I could zap the straight jacket. You uh, could also uh, shocking grasp both of them, which would be you could, could I, on it. Could you I could grease it? Don't look me and see if I can. Oh, that's that's a good. Could one. I grease him out of it? Yeah, let me try mm -hmm. to grease. Let me make it hard for it to grip you on do, an old gas bow. You do have a grease spell. Do you want to okay. grease your ally? Yeah, we're, let's 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 grease that. Uh, let's grease that hog up. You grease up your baby for a ball on the hill. <laughs> Ow. And okay. On the straight jacket's turn, it tightens on poor Gaspar. It rolls a one. Blasting the buckle off clearly had an effect. You see it tighten and just sort of slither around his body like a snake because it can't tighten without that other strap. And, uh, didn't buck it. Uh, do we know what it is? What do I roll to know what it is? Religion? Religion. It's 23. This is most likely another one of those recurring haunts. It's not a specific ghost or entity. It is a haunt tied to the area and tied to the problems in the prison. And it will probably be back tomorrow, but you can blast it down with channeling. You can strike it with magic weapons. And you could also throw a haunt siphon at it if you had any. I don't think I don't think we got any there. So, uh, damn it. Um... You could all just fling your hammer at Tim's head. That's that is an option. That is definitely an option. That is at our disposal. Uh, was it Chan two that's offensive? Not my head, please. Yeah, it should be Chan two. Damn, sixteen positive damage. Let's see if it can make a save. It made its save, so it takes half that positive damage. You see another strap burn to ash and fall off of it and bits of it sort of smolder with this strange golden orange fire for a moment and you can it looks like it's partially on fire but Gaspar you don't feel the heat because you're a good aligned line caster it doesn't harm you oh, now, you thanks to Kovira you have a plus 10 escape artist check if you wish to make it get out of that crap I take minus 2 from being you a can Shitter. You can use your escape artist <laughs> skill, or you can use your combat maneuver bonus. Well, I get plus ten to both. Yeah, because you're greased oh, up. I do the combat maneuver bonus. Slippery slide. So Slippery that's snag. You escape the grapple. Uh, you have wow. a move, you have a move action left, but not a full. Uh, Jump. Five foot. This way. Just yeah. Actually, no, I'll just stay where I am. No, I'll five foot this way. Final answer. Okay. <laughs> you guys see Gaspar dance back and forth. Yeah. Do -so, do -si do Come on, baby, let's go. We're going to book it. Have, have you ever seen a straitjacket confused at a man's movements? Because he will not Super, super confused. Dismas, he gets greased up, and he flings that thing off of his body, slams it onto the ground, although you see it whip around like a five-legged spider and crouch down like it's about to pull oh. on him again. Ew. Okay. Well. I sh I, uh... Again. Your, your paladin expertise suggests to you that if you just shoot it with a bullet, you will do greatly reduced damage. It would take, like, most, like, 10 or 15 DR off of piercing. But oh, if you okay. smite, you are essentially shooting it directly in its evil soul. Yeah. All right, I shoot it evil right soul in its hole. soul. Um. Yeah. It is obliterated. You line up a shot and shoot it, and the, the main remaining buckle just explodes into a hundred tiny pieces of metal, and the whole thing wobbles and stumbles a couple feet away like a drunken spider and then just goes limp 
becomes a piece of cloth. <coughs> You're out of combat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This exorcism was free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Take this opportunity to eat the s'more that uh, Anna made me. This will probably <gasps> annihilate Wait, my bacon? entire computer. It does Is not it have bacon, bacon s'more. That was yesterday. Ah. Oh, dude, the bacon s'more. You're back. One minute. didn't have to shoot me, but how, I'm glad you shot it. How bad are you hurt? Fine. I'm at 18 out of 34. Oh, shit. Is anybody else hurt? No. Okay, so I'll, I'll wait off on a channel then. I don't want to waste it. Yep. Well, you can have these. It's only right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look at that. I'll be back. I'm going to um, hop out of here because I'm going to be up in the apartment in a second. See you, Sid. See you soon. Me. I have returned, and I just want to say that that was so good, but sticky. No comments? All right, let's proceed. Y'all make dinner? I was drinking We're water, but I want thing. s'more. No, he had a s'more, and I made... I expect a really gooey and ruined s'more in the mail. Like paper and shit all up on it. Wow. <laughs> Just ruined. Inedible. You're gonna get a video of me eating it on live stream. Oh. That's what we all want. That's what we all want to <clears> see. <throat> That's what I wish I had vision for. Yep, I'm gonna. <laughs> Alright, we loot the straitjacket. What priceless riches does it contain? Hell yeah, loot this room. Okay, perception checks. Also, Harrison used two lay on hands on me while you were AFK. <clears throat> I see that. I didn't want to interrupt the combat, but Maria has arrived. Maria! Yay! Yes, with I'm my brand new battery. Cool. I should make a, a lovely difference in that machine. I'll put Finn out yes, here. Yes, the... my computer's actually functioning. Nice. Good job. Your first major <laughs> repair. Yes, yeah, it was. It was, um, it was both easier and harder than I anticipated. Well, that's computer repair. Burp. Yeah. So, just BTW, my screen says game paused. Hmm. Does it still say you're paused? It. Oh, it went away. Okay, good. Cool. Okay, we find it, Toby. We find all of it. Yes, we do. You don't find it. Oh. oh. Granted, only two of you rolled perception checks. Here, I'll roll for Aaron. Roll perception, everybody. Roll it. 19 from Kovira, 23 from Dismas. That is the highest. Seven from Finn. Welcome back, Maria. Nice. <laughs> right out of the gate, rolls a three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> coming in, coming in hot, everybody. Watch out. I saw your uh, Poison Ivy uh, costume with his Two-Face. That was pretty priceless. Yes. Ah, uh, well, thank well you. Played. We we had other friends who were going to do Harley Quinn, Penguin, and Scarecrow, mm. but that fell through. Yeah. But anyways, yes. That's why you should never rely on others. Uh, <laughs> D Dakota looked really funny holding up his coin. He was like clearly in character and RPing. Oh, very much so. 
So you just you just show him those pictures of him as Two Face holding up the coin and looking hard as fuck. Yeah. Whenever he thinks he's too cool to come play D and D with us, <laughs> I'll let him know. <laughs> like, oh, you're you're too busy to come be a nerd because you go on tour with you know famous musicians and shit. Well, you're a big fucking dork and everybody knows it. Yep. Okay, this room is ravaged, full of moldy clothing. It had a straitjacket that just tried to strangle Gaspar, but the group fought it off. And then Finn shows up just in time to say, where's the treasure? There isn't any. <laughs> There's nothing in this room? Nothing of value. And nothing you can find with your crappy 23 perception. Okay. Good. Well, this room sucks. We already got the XP. Let's go to the next room. Yeah. I hit one of the tubs in anger. You rolled a natural one. You actually smack your own ankle because you missed the tub <laughs> and smack yourself in the leg and it hurts. Hey, I, had, I had to get that shitty roll out of the way. I had to. Just had yeah. to. Great use of a natural one. Could this straitjacket still be used to restrain? Uh, maybe. There's kind of one leather strap left that's not annihilated. I take it. <laughs> okay. It's going to learn. Thinking. Um, did we already did we already like examine the straight jacket like obviously someone was Tim examined it up it, close so. yeah I saw it it hurts <laughs> it definitely does job well I examine the straight jacket as Kavira suggests does it look special or does it just look like a straight jacket before it was annihilated, it was <laughs> laying here on the floor, relatively intact. The sort of haunting effect preserves the material oh, from mold and other deterioration type stuff. And Ow, it was particularly cruel. It not only restrains the arms and upper body, but it has other little straps you can pull tighter that are essentially chokers so if you can have someone in the straitjacket they can't move their arms against you and then you can also choke them to varying degrees rather easily lovely who will okay wow. you could try it out on todd later <laughs> hot toddy that does sound fun wow um okay so nothing else in this room? Next one? Next one. Well, I have one other question just about like capabilities of spell casting or um, investigating here. Yeah. Like, you know how you can figure out someone's IP address and kind of like track more information about them? Can you do yeah. that with something that's bit like, is there an IP, quote unquote, IP address for the uh, the caster that possesses something? Or no? Possibly. Does that kind of make sense? Uh, yeah. It sounds like a powerful, good spell, so maybe you have not. An object but... in mind. No, there are information spells where and, yeah. you can you can cast them on an item and learn who possessed it for a long time, what they did with it, even see past visions of it. So there is a lot of investigation type spells mm -hmm. that exist. All right, just you just don't have any of them because you suck. Yeah, I, such babies. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's cool to know at least for the future. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Part of the one possible future for Kovira is, you know, magical investigation. She can become mm -hmm. like a magical detective. She has yeah, I kind of like that. The rogue and magic training to do that. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, where to? The next room. room. Okay. Let me make sure that I have. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. You're going to the next room. Uh, yeah. Sid is actually here, so I don't have to move Kovira anymore. The Bai is right <laughs> behind Gaspar. You guys are outside the door. God, I don't know. You might want to move me just for restraint. Stay together. <laughs> here, stack we up on the door, stay nerds. Stay together. Uh, I'll open the door since uh, Gaspar got fucked last time. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, no. No, 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 I'll open it. All I can do if there's bad things in there is hit them with my sword or get grappled. But okay. you, if I get, if you get grappled, I can stab you. If I get grappled, you can do a lot of things. 
Okay. Okay. Alright. I, I shove him through the door. I All just right. strategy shove him. Wise, <laughs> strategy wise, you guys have similar HP, and Dinvaya has a higher flat footed armor class. So. I'm not, I'm not gonna be flat footed. Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm really good. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna see the enemy. <laughs> simple. Yeah, man, you got it. Pretty simple. Yeah. I've also got ranged, and so does <clears throat> he doesn't, so that's helpful too. As you I open this the... next room, the door itself is relatively rotten compared to the others. And you sort of try to open it, and it doesn't. It moves a little bit, and you feel sort of a crunch, and you feel some sort of parts of the door around the hinges give way, and it just kind of falls inward. Nice. You see tangled mounds of moth-eaten fabric on the tables in here. You see a lot of workbenches, a lot of what looks like sewing tools, shears, needles, rolls of thread, stuff like that. And perception check. For Gaspar, Dinvaya, the others are not close enough yet. Dinvaya, you immediately, in the pile of clothing on the over on the west side, you see a skeletal foot and skeletal hand protruding from one side of the pile. Got a possible skeleton. Um, let's go investigate it. All right, let's go. We step in. Um, yeah, we step into the room. Okay. Everybody get ready to club this thing. We're gonna club the hell out of it if it gets up. Like clubbing baby seals. It's like Resident Evil. The ones that you expect to get up usually don't get up, but they could get up because they think that you think that they won't get up. Yeah. But they, they really. But they get up. You should just be ready to club anything. Yeah. They're smart enough to do to have that forethought. No, but the game devs are. Toby is. <laughs> Toby definitely, yeah. There is a strange light and a strange feeling comes over all of you as you step into the room. And in the middle of you, between Gaspar, Finn, Dinvaya, and Kavira. Someone is sawing at something into the microphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, I have a tiny it's piece of wood. That's lovely. I'm so sorry, I thought it was muted. There is a strange glowing purplish light in the middle of the room, and you see a floating ghostly figure of a woman appear. Fucking told you! Looks like Sandra O. Oh, possessed. Mm. Do I have spellcraft, Toby, or it's just the macro does not work at all? Let me check. There it goes. Yeah, it's because they changed it to SPL. Yeah, Lord. Okay. Well, I have total 12, you're no shit. I assist. Now he has a 14. There are no spells being cast by anyone in this room. That is what your 26 spell <laughs> tells you. Good job. Go! She hovers there for a moment, and it looks like she turns her gaze slowly to each one of you in turn, sort of looking at you and then to the next person. And she just hovers there about a foot off the ground. She's <clears throat> wearing a tattered and fire damaged long, what was a fancy gown, goes all the oh. way down to her ankles. It's pretty tattered at this point. It stops right above the bust and has bare shoulders. She looks really other than being haunting and obviously undead, she could be beautiful. Long, light bluish hair. It's the color as a ghost, anyway. And you can mm -hmm. sort of see through her. She is partially translucent. You can see through her to people on the opposite side of her. She makes no offensive move. She just hovers there and regards you all for a moment. Do we know what Vasoriana looks like? Oh, I don't know if we do. There's a statue of her that we've seen a trillion times. There's That's a statue of her? Or it's a monument to her. I always figured it was a statue of her no, and the it's, warden. It's, it's like a monument out. to the warden. I mean... Do I know what she looks like? Nope. You have
have okay. not yet seen a picture of her anywhere. Okay. You hear a strange voice that you hear sort of duplicated and whispered multiple times after everything she says, but she says, Are you the new guard? The new guard? Guard of what? The prison, maybe. The prison, she says. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Does the prison still need guarded? Yes. From what? The prisoners. What are your intentions? To stop the evil that's coming from this place? Uh, Gaspar has his sword out. Just yeah. to be clear i don't, I don't yeah. think there's anything in this area that has not tried to kill us yet yeah fair and he has no reason to know who this is true yeah like I'm she true. could be a prisoner a ghost of a prisoner so who are you are you vasoriana <laughs> is that her name toby i can't remember it Vis she Vis says Vis 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 i am vasoriana hawk my husband's the warden. I detect evil on her. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. It's unlimited use, so. There we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Dude, fuck that guy, I tell you what. Yeah, Grandpa. Fuck Grandpa. Okay. I wonder how that girl's doing. I don't know what we're talking about, but we're recording it to the Carrying Crown stream. Oh, there was a big evil thing named, we called it Grandpa. This, this little girl. Yeah, it was in Leipstadt. Leipstadt. This oh. little girl, like, raised him from the dead. Yeah, and evil started Grandpa killing. came back. Yeah. He was scary. Oh, yeah, I forgot we kept his soundtrack. <laughs> You've anyway. been tormenting us with it periodically. <laughs> I forgot. I know. <laughs> I thought you guys were talking about like a Left for Dead mod or something. I was like, oh. oh. Toby's just sitting there like, man, they really don't like that song. It scares yeah. them. I'll keep it in. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep doing it. Either, whether you knew or didn't know, yeah, the net effect would have been the same. It would have kept playing it for us. Is that annoying? I should do it again. <laughs> Does she detect as evil? Nope. Oh. Does she detect as neutral or good, though? You haven't cast those spells. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I don't have that. So I will not I think be casting. Any of us do? No. Well, we can rule out one. So that's good. Okay. Is your husband still around? No. He was taken. Taken by whom? I do not know. Men and women in dark robes who spoke only in whispers. They work strange oh. magic around the building's foundations. I cannot leave this room, but I saw them. They inscribed runes on the ground and took my husband. Where did they inscribe the runes? Might have been the ones we saw outside. That's what I'm mm -hmm. thinking, but I just want to make sure. Mm-hmm. What's that group called? The Whispering something? The Whispering Way. Way, yeah. Are you familiar with The Whispering Way? No. Okay. How come they did... How... Why did they not take you as well? I do not know. But... My husband's spirit kept the prisoners in check. Since he is gone, they are free. I hold them back as best I can. And I now have the Piper and Father Charlatan under my control. How long moment. can you control them? Not long. Someone is weakening <clears throat> me every day. I do not have long. What are these ghosts tied to? 
in this prison? How can we dispel them for good? They must all be defeated at once. At once? You have two defeated already. Means there three more. At least three more. So we have to defeat them all at the same time, or we just have to have we have to have beaten them all without one coming back before we get, finish the task. They will not come back while I exist, but I will not exist much longer. Yes. Someone's writing your name in a ritual. I think you got like three days left. Three murders. Um, what else can we ask her? Are there, are there any weaknesses of these other three that we can use to our advantage? Yeah. I do not know. I cannot leave this room. Do you I know feel any... them. I know they are below. All three of them are below? Yes. In the dungeons. Which is where my husband was. Until they took him. And smashed another man's skull. Yeah, we heard about that guy too. These others... How often do they come to the prison? Only once. Bam. Only once? Bam, they... what will happen to you? Sorry. She says they came and wrote their runes and took my husband's spirit. And they killed the other man who came with foul magic. Their leader black robes, thin, gray-skinned human. He wore a breastplate of bone and carried a black staffed cap with a skull gagged by black cloth. They killed him with magic and then crushed his head with a fragment of a gargoyle. Yes, we figured that's what happened. We've been investigating it. We should get her to testify. Fuck. What, what will happen to your ghost uh, after um, after you fade away? Do you, do you know? If they succeed, I will be trapped under their thumb. If they so, are destroyed, then I will be free. All right. So there is there is a t if we if we don't deal with these ghosts that you're protecting before you. Uh, this ritual is completed. Uh, your your eternal your eternal uh, salvation is at stake. Is what is what I'm understanding. Yes. All right. Well, it is not the same. Also, it's not the black robed cultists. They crushed the man's head and took my husband in a what felt like a storm. I don't feel cold, but. I felt chilled by it. I felt as if I was being pulled apart for an instant, and then my husband was gone. By the device that they used to capture your husband, is that what you're talking about? I do not know. But I felt its pull, as must have all of us who are trapped here. Since that day, I felt no sign of my husband or had no sight of the black-robed people again. But every day since, the spirits of the murderers trapped below have grown more and more powerful. I know my husband's presence kept them in line in death as he did in life. But with him gone, they are nearly free. The robes, the, the visitors in the robes, and yes. the, their leader, they've only visited here once. Yes. Okay. And you never heard of them or dealt with them before in when you were alive? No. 
If you defeat them and bring me my husband's symbol of station, I can banish them forever. And you believe that's all downstairs where everything happened in the fire? Two were upstairs, but I believe you defeated them. Yes. But the other three are downstairs? Yes. Are there, is there any more entities present than those other three? There are many lesser haunts and tormented souls in this structure, but the three remaining below I feel much more acutely. They watch us even now. Are you safe in this room? For now. For now, okay. Anything else, team? I guess we can search the room, see if there's anything helpful in here, Toby. I, I was also just going to ask her, does she know anyone who would want her out of the picture, specifically? And why? Maybe not the why, but... She says it is one of them. I believe it would have to be the Splatterman. The others that are not so... Bastard. Not so smart. <laughs> um... I stepped away for just a moment. Did we ask her about where in the prison the other spirits might be stuck? Downstairs <laughs> where the fire yeah. happened. Cox shotgun. <laughs> Hands shotgun back to Dismas. Thanks, Dismas. <sighs> um, is there what about any... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, who who is this under these blankets here? That is me. Sorry to hear that. Is, uh, would you like us to move this? You? Would you like us to move you? No. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's <laughs> <laughs> unexpected. Ah. Uh. Sorry, just making sure I had that in case we needed oh, Okay, yeah, yeah. Glad. Glad. Is this there is the campaign anything? that's gonna get totally gonna get the shotgun from Constantine the movie. The holy <laughs> nice. gold and silver oh. shotgun. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for all you've told us. And Is there will... any item or secret in this prison that will help us? Anything you can think of, no matter how small, how little, how, what little advantage it might give us against these ghosts. She said, she says, my husband wielded a fine blade. It must be here somewhere, but more than that, I sense that his, his badge, his item of station has absorbed much of his spirit and power now that his actual spirit is gone. Where was your husband when the fire took place? Specifically downstairs. downstairs, but you don't know where. He and his men could not escape the prisoners, and so they collapsed the elevator on themselves. He is probably buried somewhere near there under a immense amount of rock. What caused the fire? I do not know. An escape attempt? Why were you in the prison during the fire? They told me my husband and some of the guards were trapped below and that there was a riot. I came in to see if I could help in any way, but I was trapped in this room because I was upset and they locked me in here and I died from the smoke. Okay. 
As you look over the, you notice that the skeleton is sort of in a fetal position with a bunch of cloth, like, clutched around its face. Um, is there anything else that anyone can think to ask her? We asked her about enemies of her husband, right? Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be the, the Harrowstone 5, the remaining mm. members. Yeah, for sure. I'm just wondering I'm just, why all of a sudden this Whispering Way got involved. Why they're so curious now. I mean, other than Knowledge religion. Her. You guys can aid each other on the check? Sure. Other than the creepy fuck. <clears throat> I burped. It was recorded. This is my finest moment. I rolled a natural 20 on knowledge religion. Holy I God. can only go up from here. <laughs> okay. Burp assisted nat 20. That's going to be a 30 plus. The, If the ghosts here are the ones possessing people to write on the stones in town, animating the dead to walk around town, um causing all these haunts and stuff here. They are what you guys would classify as pretty spicy ghosts. That's mm -hmm. immense range, power, and versatility. And there's so now it makes sense that all five of them are probably ghosts. Two of them are, of course, occupied now. But their power level is very high. And if what she says is true, one other ghost was holding them at bay, which is not a thing you've ever heard of or read about. That doesn't happen. Ghosts are always confused, demented. They're almost always evil. It's it's boggling your mind that she's not radiating evil. She is an undead specter of a being. Mm -hmm. And her husband may have been the same thing. as This guy was just so fucking lawful neutral or whatever he was that his spirit refused to move on because he was going to keep incarcerating these these ghosts, these men. And so their struggle continued on into undeath. But this man's spirit must have, he must have been some sort of new type of ghost, a very weird new, like, mutation in the, the spirit world here. Hmm. You guys know the people that trained you, like back at your college and Lebstad and stuff, if they heard this, they would be like, we've got to find this guy, we've got to study this. And as, you know, followers of Phrasma, your goal would be to destroy him as it is to destroy her, even though she's not in hostile, just because they're trapped in a, a tormented state, and it's against the, the lady's teachings, etc. But he's he's weird. The situation is very weird, undocumented, never seen before. Uh, Vesoriana, we have noticed that your husband's office is perhaps one of the only rooms in the prison that seems to be pure of the evil that haunts the rest of the place. Do you think it would be... Can these other spirits not enter that room? Not while I exist. Thanks for that. Can they enter this room? No. And you pulled one of them through the floor earlier after we defeated it, didn't you? Yes. She... She holds out her hand, and you see what looks like a wad of holy symbols and, and chains writhing around like a, like a ball of snakes in her hand. She says, I have him here. Do you have the other one, the Piper of Ilmarsh? She holds up her other hand, and you see sort of a, a hooded cloaked figure with a couple of malevolent eyes glaring up at her. It looks like five inches tall in her hand. It looks tiny, and she's just admiring it. She says, yes, he is here. All right. And I was also going to ask, we have some of the possessions of the three remaining ghosts, and we don't know if they could be harmed by those possessions or if they would be strengthened by them. She says the marauder might recoil at his hammer, knowing his deeds and regrets. The Splatterman would want his spellbook rather badly. Lopper would definitely love to have his axe. The others, okay. I'm not sure. 
they're here now, so. Yeah, she says they, they don't enter this room because they can't while I'm here. But they don't enter my husband's office because they are still afraid of him. That's been a hell of a guy. He could be okay. cruel. He could be hard, but he was effective. Well, sounds like he had to be, dealing with these assholes. Yeah, I mean, you guys know the history of this prison. The guy ran the number one... I mean, he it's like he ran a prison in Texas that killed more people than yeah, anywhere else exactly. in the country combined. Yeah. He still plays the piano. <laughs> in the back. No. <laughs> I hear a pipe organ. Okay, last question that I can think of, unless anyone okay. else has more. Um, they caved in the elevator on themselves. How can we get down there? She says you could descend the pit. I, I know of no other way. How deep is it? It is at least a long enough fall to kill you if you if you just step into it or, or lose your grip. Okay. Hmm. Says in truth, I've never been down there in life or death. Okay. Well, we definitely would not be able to make a swift escape then if we had to retreat. No, it sounds like we're it's going to be some rope. Yeah, we're kind of stuck down there. Yeah. Or that ladder. Don't we have a big ladder? In a we backpack. Have a step ladder. Oh no. We have a ladder. I'm not sure it's How far is that ladder though? Who has the ladder? Uh, what is what is the button that's in my handy haversack? What is the button to open containers? I never remember. Uh, I think you have to hit the edit button on them. Edit. It is edit. Um, our ladder <laughs> gets to ten feet. I it's thought... the best day. <laughs> <laughs> And then if it's a five foot drop, that's not too bad. It's far enough to kill you, she yeah. said. Yeah, 15 feet, I suppose, wouldn't kill someone. So in D&D, that's, you know, 30 or 40 feet. That is Roll, 30 or 40. In Rollmaster, that is actually five feet. Depends on what game you're playing. <laughs> oh, wait, I have... I um... have once fallen 10 feet in Rollmaster and cracked my skull on the back. Oh, my gosh. I have, those, I have those boots that let me float onto a surface, though. Boots that's of good. landing. That's that's good. That means you won't have to roll the climb check to get down. The rest of us will. Yeah, okay. Um, unless you want to one man the dungeon. Yeah, why don't you think yeah. that's somebody else, Sid? <laughs> Everyone hold on to Sid's boots. Hold on to Sid's butt. Yeah. There it is. So, I'm thinking... Anybody got rope? This is a real... Um, um, you know what's what? The... I want to. No, no I don't. What's, what's the movie with the Irish guys and they have desert eagles? And they're like, you never know when you're going to need a rope. Then they shoot everything. Boondock Saints. Uh, Boondock yeah. Saints. Brian chimes Boondock in Saints. immediately. Immediately, <laughs> yeah. And then he mutes again, right? Charlie Bronson's always got some fucking rope. <laughs> Two pussies. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have 50 feet of silk rope. If we put <laughs> our manacles together, we might get three feet out of them. Okay. No, I, have, I have 50 feet of silk rope. Well, you have 50 feet of silk rope? Mm-hmm. He's got 50 feet of silk rope. Okay, okay. so... Well, our rope problems are solved. So at this juncture, I said we have two options. We can... Explore the pit a little bit, see if we can find the gourd, the warden's holy symbol and sword, and then back out, or we can immediately go back to town because we need these haunt siphons. There's no way we're gonna take on three of these without haunt. And siphons. to rest. And to we rest just, exactly. Well, we can rest here, man mode. The haunt siphons Correct. probably aren't done yet. They take like a day. No, but we've got three days left. Yeah. We're gonna need a rest period anyway. Yeah, we can rest here. We can rest. I'm gonna say, uh, let me fucking finish my fucking. Well, I'm just saying, there's the skeleton oh. you can snuggle with. Oh. And that would be inappropriate. We just met. We just met her ghost. <laughs> yeah, she'll be part of the cuddle train. 
We should ask her. <laughs> no. <laughs> John Coltrane. But we, we need Josh? we need haunt siphons regardless. Depending on I don't remember how long it's gonna take. Jor, Jor, these nuts in your mouth. I can't remember how long it's gonna take her to create those. Like a day head. each. A day each. So we're gonna need a couple three at least. I can join her and help her craft. That might speed up the process and give us a better chance. But finding the warden's symbol and sword is gonna help us too. I think that we just clobbered one of these ghosts, admittedly the weeniest ghost, to death without any haunt siphons. And it was really tough. Um, and I used a shitload of channels, and I'm almost out of channels. Right. So I think... I think... Um, and none of us have ghost bane stuff. Oh, contraire. <laughs> uh, what we could do is I've got one, count them, one ghost touch arrow one mm -hmm. undead pain arrow, and then I actually have a total of three ghost touch arrows. Uh, okay. So that's something. That's and something. And get this. You guys want to get crazy with it? If we go and run to Father Grimbro's and place, get the hammer? The axe. The axe is ghost touch. Mm. Is the hammer not? The hammer... I don't remember what the hammer does. Because she said that was really the only one that would be scared of their item yeah we could use it to scare the marauder and then whenever the other ghosts show up like one person shakes the hammer at the marauder and the other person clobbers him with the ghost touch axe uh I think who this here is a can wield an axe I, I i'm digging it i also said full pruff ama i have Ooh. a base attack bonus of two and a That's strength of plus three so i can wield anything Wow. Ooh. That gives me a plus five to hit. And I think I have I think I have martial weapon proficiency. It's just an axe. All of you have basically almost martial weapon. All of you can wield that axe. It's technically a simple weapon. Oh, Kovira could wield it. Mm -hmm. Kovira sneak attack ghost touch axe to the brain, just like the lopper would have wanted. Sneak attacks. Yeah, down. And Finn then I'll wear the it. moss. Like either one of them oh, could yeah. wield it and put a shocking grasp in it. Or Finn yeah. could put a shocking grasp through it. What is the hour right now? What time is it? It is Afternoon, 5 p.m. It will get dark at 7. I think we should go down and get those two weapons. If we could... To uh, Father Grimbrose? Yes. Yeah. And then, based on the time it is then, we should either sleep at the Church of Phrasma, because it's close, or come back here and sleep, and then do more of the dungeon tonight, so that we don't waste time. Because we've only got three more days of this lady. Mm -hmm. So I think, the, I think there's two N's and an A remaining. I do believe so. And that would give us a chance to tell Father Grimbro, hey, we're going to be up in the prison killing undead. So you guys are going to have to figure it out down here for a bit. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Is it is it really three days, or isn't it just every time someone's murdered? Unless these letters have happened over consecutive days. I don't really remember. Yeah, they've done a letter every night. They have done a letter every night. Okay. The first one was written with, like, the blood of a rat or some shit. Right. Oh, Tim, the water's boiling. Boiling water. Okay, I th I am prepared to go down to the Church of Phrasma. I have to go throw ramen noodles in the boiling pot, so I'll be AFK for about five while I cook those. I'll be right back. Yeah. But, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> pee. Okay. Let us leave. Okay. Do we have anything else we want to ask? I can't Goops. think of anything. I think you guys have done a pretty good job. Maria, any ideas? No, that was super thorough. Nothing to add. No notes. Then allons-y. Allons-y. Let's see. Uh... Nope. 
So, party is departing to town? Yes. Okay, how do you walk out of here? Show me. How do we walk out? Yeah, oh. where do you go? Mm. I don't really remember the way we came. You should be able to zoom out and see the map. Oh. Still a little tough. Um. We're on the ground floor yeah, now, me... right? We are, right? Yeah. I'll just go out the front door. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Stay as a group. No Didn't lagging, no running ahead. Perception checks. I'll drag Gaspar along. As you. 27 is great. Probably did we great. clear this entire floor before? No. I don't feel like we did. <laughs> there well, let's a, do, do. There's that a room to here. the east of you right now as you guys head through this hallway to the south, which leads to the front doors. But there's an unopened room to the east of you. That looks like it has a sign outside in wrought iron that says chapel. And then there is a sign on the door to the west of you that says, what do they call it? There's a bunch of funky terms for every room in here. Um, induction chamber. Oh. And then there's a sign that points to the... Uh, around the corner to the northeast back by the stairs you came up and mm -hmm. that says infirmary with a little arrow pointing awesome uh yeah let's we think about clearing the rest of the floor before we go or do you want to wait and do it when we come back um <clears throat> since we're low on stuff i think it'd probably be better to be well, if we're low on know. stuff and we're going to go rest, we might as well spend what we got a little bit more and then get the hell out. Yeah, yeah. we can clear it out. Alright, let's see what trouble we can find. Uh, start with chapel? Uh, yeah. You want to start with the chapel? Start with chapel. Who's kicking in the door? Uh, Gaspar will insist that he does it, so I'll back him up. Okay, so we're going to push Tim, Tim through a door while he's not at the computer. I Hell yeah, way. that's what he gets for cooking ramen. Okay. okay. <laughs> he opens the door, and you see him look inside. He's got his sword in one hand. He opens the door carefully and pushes the door the rest of the way open with his sword blade. And he, as soon as he looks in the room, he says, oh, shit. And you hear a lot of movement, and he sort of recoils backward. And let's see. Get everybody into lovely old combat here. It's just the straight jackets. Just, just a bunch. Just a shit. Just a, of it's the, yeah, just a bunch. Fuck loads of them. Face huggers. Revenge of the straight jackets. For Dingle, who's not here. Oh, I need to roll. I'm sorry. Same. And no rush. We're good. Did it roll, Toby? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're good. You rolled non-terrible. You roll initiatives. You, with your person selected, you should have your buttons up at the top. There's one for where is it, you guys? Utility. The last oh, button. utility. Yeah. Okay, roll it. initiative. There you go. I forget where that. You can oh, also roll it from the combat tracker itself. Do you remember how to pop that out? Up by the chat oh, prompt. Yeah. There's okay, cross yeah. swords Found if you it. control click it. Okay. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. What's that? I Brave is doing something weird and I don't know what's going on. Okay, one sec. I can't get back to chat. You're on the mini you said? Hmm? You're on your yeah, mini. minis. Yeah. 
I see canvas control shit. Oh. I don't know. No, the uh, foundry was being a real bro and showing you a picture of Vissoriana. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't oh. understand your narrative style. And it's not involved in the treatment. I mean... It's trying to help. Do better. Wow. It's dark. Okay. <laughs> Basically, as soon as the door is open... You guys hear something skittery, and you hear Gaspar go, ah! And a huge, like, Doberman-sized, Rottweiler-sized spider jumps off of one of the side walls straight onto him and attacks. And let's see, I don't think that actually hits his flat-footed. It chomps onto his armor, and he stumbles backwards. And let's see. You move here, and this one also pounces on him. It's effectively outside the room. Jumps on his bar. Twenty-six. He is bit, and has to make a fort save. Fails and is staggered. you guys an initiative gets to this point and then pounces all the way out on Dinvaya and misses does not hit your flat foot and now it is Here's turn. also Sid we never picked you that's like a cute placeholder initiative <laughs> track but we never really picked you one and Maria if you can think of any like seven to eight second segment of any sound effect or song that you want for your initiative sound. Initiative oh, yeah, sounds are not just for fun. They also remind everybody whose turn it is and mean that because uh, Josh's screen reader can't look at the combat tracker effectively. But with everybody with an initiative sound, he knows when his turn's coming. Okay, I'll think of one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had, the, uh, like. yeah I had the where the yeah. What did I change it to, accidentally? Like what? I don't even know what that sound bite was. Oh, you had. I know what you had. Hang on. You did have. One. She had those in this house. <laughs> there it is. Fixed. I don't know why you you switched, but there it is. Okay. So Gaspar is beset by spiders. He's been just pounced on by three of them. Tim, we decided to clear a little bit more of the floor before we leave and go rest. Sure, it's fine. Spider's and then I, imme I immediately shoved you through a door, so you're welcome. I'm shocked. No, but you will be. Um, I'm gonna five foot hop and swing my sword. Remember to get flank if you can. Yeah, so if I can do... Okay, I'll have to fix... Sorry, y'all. You good? I'm kind of having trouble... Uh... Using a mouse or a trackpad? Using my brain, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. That's even worse than a trackpad. Uh, oh, dear. Okay, short sword. Um... So, because we're flanking, does that make it a full attack, a sneak? What, what is, like, the exception if you're flanking something? Because I know I just moved, but... You get sneak attack. Uh, I do. Well, but Dinvaya doesn't threat yet because she hasn't had a turn. So if you want to delay Shoot. to Dinvaya, okay. then you can get sneak attack. Yeah, I'm going to delay to Dinvaya. Okay. You delay I think that's more powerful. Dinvaya. You delay to Dinvaya. Which means it's this guy's turn. And he is staggered because you failed the poison save. What does that mean? Staggered means you can only take a standard action. You cannot move and you cannot double attack. It's the worst shit ever. It's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> how long? What's the duration on that poison? One round. Okay, I shift my judgment to purity, which gives me a plus one on all future saves for the duration okay. of the combat. Okay. And then I clobber this one back here. Okay. Uh, 
like okay. that. You drive the blade down into it, doing a ton of damage, honestly. And it looks very wounded. Oops. It accidentally is dead. It's not actually dead. There we go. Alright, good hit. Is it dead? There's no spider there on my screen. The oh, same. Weird. I think probably it should reappear, or you might need yeah, a browser it, update. It just went. It just came back. Okay. Uh, five foot hop here. Move here and stab, stab that spider next to go here. Hell yeah. Plus two. Uh, to hit. But take four. Okay. You strike him for four, and that does actually kill him. He's done. You guys have successfully no, prevented. Deferred. You've successfully wasted Sid's entire turn. <laughs> Tactics, Hell yeah. Mr. Ryan. Okay. More spiders. Let's see. I can get that far. And then I... Is there room to pounce there? Yes, I pounce. It's effectively going to end up in this hex, but it pounces on Gaspar. You can make a fort save. DC 15. Bastards. Plus one. Still fail. AMA. You are staggered again on your next turn. It'll be fun to discover what happens if you fail a save when you're already staggered. Oh no. This one pounces right over the top of him onto Dinvaya. And let's see. Does that hit her? It does. Fort save Joshua. Oh. Sorry. I did the wrong thing. Did the wrong thing. You make your save. You're fine. Josh is cheating. No one does better than me. Whoa. <laughs> Loaded dice. Not cheating if you don't get cut, bitch. This Wham. one pounces all the way out of the room and attacks poor Finn. Who is not you gone yet. So Finn to... is bit. Make, needs to make a fort save. What do I have to do? That is under your saves. Uh, it's a button after skills. Do me a fortitude. Normal fortitude roll. You fail. You are yeah. staggered, staggered on your next turn. Which sucks. Sad times. You can still fight, but you won't be able to move very far in that turn. And it'll go away after one round. But I might just bite you some more because it was really fun. Let's see. What is this? Did you guys just decide to check out the spider warehouse before we yes. left the dungeon? Mm -hmm. They yeah. pounced on the spider warehouse. Yeah, there and actually was a sign. We were like, that'd be pretty rad. That one, Dinvaya, your flat footed is too high. This one bites you in the armor. Okay, now I finally get to. Good lord. Yeah, god, let's get that flank going. Fuck. Uh, okay, Toby, what's my best move to give some flank to people who need it? Also, bracket the door to get swings on shit as they come out, if I can. Well, as far as swings go, you have an ally east, an ally south, and every other square is enemies. And the one to the north of you is flanked by Kovira, so I would say worry the least about that one. But you have one okay. west, southwest, southeast, and northeast. Are any of the, non the ones not in threat by Kovira hurt? Don't think so, but also the one that that Gaspar killed, he didn't hit it all that hard. Like he and Dismas each slashed it once and it fell apart. You don't think they're super tough. Okay, then I, I hit that one. Which one you want? The one that's hurt. Okay, sure. You smack it, but you only deliver about six points of damage. In fact, it doesn't take the divine because it's not technically evil, it's just a critter. 
So you do four points of bludgeoning damage. You get a you get a hold of it, but it doesn't kill it. Uh, do I need to move to do anything better flanking wise or movement or positioning wise? If you wanna there? if you wanna be the third party member to fuck Sid out of her positioning, you could five foot hop northwest. No, I wanna I wanna make sure she gets I'm trying to be a good party member, make sure she gets flanked I, from, I know from you tankies. Are. I'm just making fun. I'm just like if, if at that point Maria does something to screw Sid's positioning, that would be everyone against Sid. That would be, be pretty funny. I would really, that would be so funny. Take but that. You don't have to. You guys, you guys can no, I'm trying I'm want. trying to be a good tanky tank. Tank your flank. <laughs> so I, I, have, I have it now. Can I do it? Yeah. yeah. Sneak attack. And fall, because I haven't moved. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. That mm. is. Let me check to see. That might be a, a crit, actually. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what they call me. Little crit. It's my favorite rom com. Crit, actually. Whoa. Little crit, bitch. <laughs> okay. And you added oh. your precision damage. Ooh. You strike the spider between you and Dinvaya and nearly kill it in one shot. It is unbelievably. Very, very weird. No. It's still still no, bobbling it's... around on its feet. Hope everybody oh, likes Finn's temporary pipe track. I do. Very nice. <laughs> That's Charles's favorite boat tracker. Okay. Uh, what should I do? I see these three very near me. There's a lot going on. Uh, these are weaker foes. The thing that's dangerous about them is if a bunch of people fail saves and get staggered, then they could overwhelm you guys. But really, you just need to eliminate them as quickly as possible. And... Since the party is planning to go rest, there's not a lot of reason for Finn to hold back. You should probably go ahead and hit one of them and check the Shocking Grass box. Nice. So you go to your inventory and use your S-Stock, that's your sword, and then check the Shocking Grass box and do a, a single attack. Against whoever you want. Right side, left side. In, any feeling there? Left, left side. side. Okay. Yeah. You strike and send electricity through the blade, and you see it twitch and wriggle as the blade drives down into its body, and it it assumes that weird little bug death pose. It looks like upside down praying. Yeah. It's a great it's... app workout, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should do some burpees until you die. I, I have done that. I have done I that before. You have. It's effective. Yeah. And Ahmad, I can't remember the name of, has disappeared the token and put a blood splotch on the floor. That's funny. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah, Foundry just gets away from me sometimes. Um, <laughs> let's see. One more spider comes toddling out the door here and sees what Finn has done and pounces on Finn. <laughs> Hits Finn. Finn needs to make another fort save. Save. You fail. Uh. You, are, you are staggered again. I, staggered doesn't matter that much for you because the coolest thing you can do is stab things with shocking grasp, and it's a standard action. So it's not that big a deal, but definitely don't want to get hit twice in one turn. Yeah. So fall asleep. Speaking of, let me bite Gaspar here and do four points of damage to him, and he can uh. make another fort save. Can he? He can. He does. And this spider will bite Finn. Miss. Natural one. Uh, this spider should be removed from the And then it should be this man's turn. I think I'm still staggered. Yeah. Still staggered last round. Yeah, but it's going to wear off now. Unless you get. Unless you fail more saves, like dum dum. So you can do a single attack, wherever you like. I will stab this one to the northwest, because he's hurt. Okay. Dum ba dum ping ka ba dum bum. Die. Okay, confirm the crit for 17. It is super dead. 
Gaspar Fuck. just reaches over and one shots this poor, poor innocent spider. I'm trying it's to bite me. So dead, the game can't even cognate it. Okay. Let's go remove it. There we go. Okay. There you are. Shoot that one. fooled me. Uh, 12 will not hit their meager armor class of... Oh, oh it's because they're small. Yeah, they have a 17. They're little quick guys. They're hard to hit. Okay. I bite Kovira. Jackhole. Um, you do have mage armor up. But it hits you. So you take one and I need a fort save from you. I got bit again? No, Kavira did. Kavira. Oh, she's AFK. She's grabbing more Roman noodles, I think. Okay, save. 42. She fails. She's staggered. You're staggered, Sid. You got bit. Wow. Just wild. Oh. In the kitchen. Okay, this one. Definitely gonna bite Dismal. Right. Right. Miss. Total miss. Josh, you have four of them around you still. Uh, positioning wise, am I still going to be providing flank? No, but you are providing a uh, good tank position. You're in the center of all the enemies, so. Okay. When you're when you're surrounded by most of the enemies, it's up to the party to get flank. Okay, I hit at uh, close to dead one near me. Okay, let's see who is closest to death. This one's a little wounded. Yeah, you strike this one to the northeast of you between Gaspar and Kovira, and you connect, and it dies. Okay. Uh, can I, do I need a five foot to better position anywhere? Else? No. If I were you, I mean, if you really want to tank, you are still in the middle of three out of the four enemies. Okay. Yeah, I'm just tanking. I just want to make sure I, if I can help Kovira with the flank, I will. Oh, yeah. She won't be able to get flanked this turn, probably, unless she does some okay. amazing acrobatics to get way down here. Which she could do. But no, she can't, because she's staggered. Oh, damn it, I was going to try. <laughs> well, you should try making a save. Ooh. Like, oh. oh. Yeah, I'll, make, I'll try oh. making a save. Oh. No, it's a will save, right? No, you already failed it, so you can't. Oh. <laughs> I was making fun of you. Oh, I like, yeah, make a save for once. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Context received. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, your sound effects are super, super hot, but be <laughs> good. Um, okay. And I, so if I moved here, why isn't working? Hang on, I need, I need to do a sound check. Is this better, John? Still up. Still up. Okay, it's going straight through Foundry. Uh, I'll, I'll just back it down on the individual sound. Were all of those uh, the computer or... Uh... No, it's just, it's just... That's Anna. Yeah. She has a really incredible uh, grasp on... I'm not going to finish the sentence. Okay. Um, there. If I go here... You I only have hop. one movement, so I wouldn't move unless you just... Uh, if you can swing it, swing it. You can five foot hop and swing once at this guy here. That's what I was thinking of doing, but if I run the risk of hitting these two, then I'll I don't want to do that. Run the risk, I'd say hit them. No. <sighs> There's no risk of accidentally meleeing the wrong person. In this game. I'll try. Other, okay. other things like confusion spells and stuff like that. Okay, so five foot right. hopping and going for this fucker. Get him. I... I'm going into attack and melee, and it's not... You want to go into cool. inventory and... Right, okay, that makes more sense. Dagger or if you just right-click your token, sword. you should have a little shortcut above your token. It's It's been gone lately. Below the token? Oh, I miss. Right oh, yeah, you miss. 
<laughs> you just My right foot. Yeah. Oh. This song sucks. Um, you could just stick with this one for a while. <laughs> Very good. So I guess I should just attack the one to my right. Sure. Sure. Okay. Get him. Do I do shocking grasp again? Uh, yeah. I think you probably do. Okay. Only because you normally save it all day, but right towards We're the about end to of the day, home. you might as well do it. Yeah, yeah. You. Yeah. Land another huge strike on it with the electricity. It's nearly dead, but it barely survives. Great hit. This one now has flank on you and bites you. Uh, I don't think that hits even with flank. It does not. This one bites gas bubble. No. This one bites Dinvaya. Ooh, actually bites Dinvaya. Fort save, please. You made it. Oh my god, I'm not staggered this round. Hell yeah. I can't believe it. All right. I staggered. swing at this one that's in the door to my right. Okay. No one else can hit it. I miss. It's and I miss, miss again. and a hit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you do miss again. This is their leader, guys. <laughs> That's the big one. I'm the big one. Yeah, that's me. Tismus, is Tismus here? Tismus? He's oh. doing it. Okay. Do it. Okay. He hits and does damage to this nearest to himself because I had the wrong token selected. Sorry, Harrison. Kill yourself, Six. Bad, bad GM. Doing bad things. And this one retaliates in kind. Turns around and bites you. That time you do actually take it and make a fort save. Um, this, uh, this poison? It is poison. Succeed in your save. You have targets west, southwest, and southeast. I go for the hurtest one. Right. You miss. Did a mute, I didn't realize. Um, yeah. I was gonna hop here. Oh, I was muted too. Fuck, why is it not? Yeah. And then flank attack this guy. Can I, am I allowed to do that? Five, ten. Oh, yeah. You will provoke unless you do an acrobatics check first. Which you could oh, do. I'll do an, an acrobatics check, yeah. I will do that. To tumble past them without giving mm -hmm. them a free swing, you must get a 13 on your acrobatics. Okay, here goes. I'll fuck it up. You totally do it. Wow. You may position without any free attacks against you. And now you can attack with sneak attack. Single attack. Yes, you got it. Harrison is breathing on me. <laughs> Kovira goes tumbling through combat, whirls around, flips the blade backwards, and drives it straight down into the brain of this critter. It's dead. Really good. Easy. 
Good position. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to easy. do about that. If, if my mic's far enough away, you guys can't hear me if it's too close. So, like, there's an optimal area. Yeah, we'll help you figure um, it out. But, uh, it's a mix we'll of bitch at you if you get it wrong. Yeah, it's I've been waiting of... to have this exact discussion for about 10 years now. For about 10 years, yeah, but he's, he's ready now. Today's the day. Don't pretend like I don't do a lot to, like, mitigate the fact that my microphone is loud. Yes, acknowledged Are, and true. Aren't three of us wearing the same headset? Like, we're all wearing yeah. the G Pro X? Yeah. Nothing further, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. Well, well, it's, we'll open G Hub. And, and fuck around with settings later. I'm just copying yours. Finn, you... Know, you take a mighty swing, but you do miss, and it's a shame because that was, was a fuckload of damage. <laughs> Whoosh! I bite, Gaspar, with this vicious I'm... spider. No, oh, probably not. No, -uh. I don't think that hits. Let me check. I don't think it does. Not quite. This time for sure. Uh, yeah, actually, that second one. Crit confirms, and it is Dale. Okay. There we go. Dale's miss. Damn. I am in the game. Yo. Uh, that totally hits. We apply that damage to the bad little man. He is very wounded, nearly dead. And he continues your death by fucking biting you again. God damn it. Give me Lafort save. They only do one damage, but goddamn if they don't always bite us. God damage. God damage. I'll give you that fort save when you can, Harrison. Then buy it. Target west, target southwest. I hit the hardest one. That is target west. And you have kill stolen the paladin. Good job. Hell yeah. Crush that spider. Oh, yeah. You could do another acrobatics check to here and get the sneak attack. Yeah, I think I probably will. Acrobatics. You make it. Single attack for you with sneak attack. Do it again. It's awesome. Okay. That lands. Drive your blade into this one, and it is still barely alive. In this turn. Such a slap. That is another terrible roll, Maria. Good job. Ah. Finn takes another ah. wild swing. <laughs> you notice that uh, Finn's kind of, kind of sweating and overextending with each swing and. Breathing hard, and it's just he's having a time of it, you know. Yeah, we've all been there, but yeah, <laughs> happens to the best of us. We're low level. Okay, um, just to just to rub it in, Peter bites Finn one more time. You can give me another fort save. Yeah. Hell yeah! You make it. You are not. Hey. Yes, mm, five, ten, fifteen. Actually, I'll go this way. Hang on. Five, ten. Stab it. Die. Fucking duffel bag full of spiders in there. <laughs> you guys always search the worst rooms. We do. <laughs> okay, that will hit, and that will kill the thing, and that does take you out of combat. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, we were where were we? We were leaving. I'll oh, heal us a little bit. Thanks for that. Sweet. You healed us 15. Jesus. Since we got chewed up sums. It's the most poison this party's ever taken without losing con. Hell yeah. Now get it's in that chapel and see what's in there. It's a lesser poison. Yeah, we searched the chapel. Okay, roll me some perception checks. Which I find everything. Thank you. Do you though? Do I thoroughly search underneath the pews. I find I all take, the old gum. We all take twenty searching this room. Vasoriana is killed. Game over. Wow. Wow. That would be bad. Uh. You search the room. What do we have? A 28? Oh, Dinvaya. You can instantly see that this was a sort of generic temple to most of the, the lawful gods, although there is a stained glass depiction behind the podium of a number of gods, including uh, Phrasma and Abadar and Serenre. You guys can roll knowledge religion on that. Bump it up. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're up to 25, 27. This sort of pantheon depicted is kind of the gods of community, city, society. Clearly, the message we're saying here is that, you know, here at the prison, we kill people for the good of society. And central to that is Abadar, the god of cities and communities, and Phrasma, the god of death. Hell yeah. And you find that there are a number of interesting items here. There are tucked into the into a drawer on the far side of the altar is a scroll, a wand, a small vial of some liquid which smells very strongly and covered in cobwebs at the back did by it you see a long long like staff length weapon with oh. a covered a huge leather cover over the end of it it looks vaguely scythe shaped oh, scythe Jesus. shaped what the fuck oh shit Go sell it to Dramus. And it'll fix all our money problems. <laughs> Dramus would kill you all and take it. <laughs> yeah. And make you all into undead. You'd all be puppets. Okay, what's the scroll? Uh, the scroll you identify as a scroll of Restoration Lesser. Alright, I keep it. Okay. Wand. It is a wand uh, of cure light wounds with 15 charges remaining. Wow, holy shit. Uh, can anybody else use the wand? Uh, Harrison I think I can, can click it. Tim can, Kavir could fike it. <laughs> fike um, it. I could fike it, as Roy says. Uh, yeah, one of you guys take it, because I can channel. So. Even Finn could try to fike it, but um, the people who are going to fike it are not very good at it yet because they're still yes. th third. So it's an automatic use in Gaspar or Dismas hand. Yeah, one of you two take it. I say Gaspar since he's usually in the thick of it. I'll take or... it. I don't. I don't. Dismas has lay on hands. True. Okay. Very true. Okay, makes sense. All right. What else did we find, Tobis? A vial. A strange vial of some unknown liquid it's very strong smelling you smell basil leaves mint and something foul like a stink bug what the fuck can I roll something else to help with that uh, anybody have knowledge nobility 
Um, Holy I do not. shit, Dinvaya. Whoa. <laughs> well, Dinvaya, you've been to Lepstad. You've been to probably Absalom briefly. You've been to a couple cities in around. Numeria. And you may have even visited eastern Cheliax, where you happen to be in a bougie district of town. And act either, you know, in a potion shop or maybe even a perfume shop. You've smelled this once before. It is mm-hmm. musk, a cologne by Calvin Carpenter. Oh my god. I cannot believe this shit, dude. What drives this- him? His driver. <sighs> no. What stop. clothes him? His tailor. Stop. What shaves him? The barber. Who calls to her loins with the force of a hurricane's howl? His musk. Uh, God damn it. Sorry. I feel like this was already in this campaign. Might have been. Didn't we see this in Lepstad and now it's here? Oh my when you when you avoid it, that makes it appear later. <laughs> There's no escaping Femix bullshit. Okay, good lord. Oh, I'm glad we that was worth the wait. Worth it. What yeah. about the Sydney about and Maria? Weapon? All you need know is that this is Harrison's fault somehow, even though I did it. <laughs> Excellent. That's all I need to know. You're right. Yep. What about the weapon? Uh, the other side. Roll me another spellcraft to identify it. Oh. And a knowledge religion, somebody. Anybody that's good at it. Plus, let's see. Nope, then via, you're like, what is this fucking symbol? Finn? No. I know Calvin Carpenter, but I don't know shit about symbols. Finn identifies runes along the haft of the weapon that definitely indicate it's magical. It's enchanted. But okay. it... Strangely, normally when you enchant a weapon, it actually protects it against, like, wear and tear, age, and and deterioration. This one's a metal haft, and it still looks dinged up, nicked, scratched. It doesn't look magical at all, but it definitely is. Gaspar. Kovira's looking at symbols on the head. She's taking the hood off of the scythe, and there's symbols on either side of it and an empty gem socket on the left side of it and on the right side. It looks like, due to the scrape marks and scratchings, the gems were forcibly pried out by someone who sucks at doing that. This thing looks just kind of chewed up, and the blade has a dark stain on it that at first you make, makes you think the blade is like black steel. It, the rest of it's kind of a dull gray, but the blade looks like black steel until you look closer, and it's dark dark, dark red. It is actually stained with so much blood that the blade is permanently like reddish metal. Damn. And the symbol on the sides, which is on both sides of the head of this scythe, is the very, very old, 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 like thousand-year-old way to draw the symbol of death. Jesus. For us, my... This thing... Is, has almost certainly been at Harrowstone for the last several, you know, the last hundred years plus, and it's almost certainly one of, if not the main scythe, because this is not a farmer's scythe. This is an executioner's scythe. The blade angle's a little different. It is meant to cut people's heads off. And it is probably what they used to kill hundreds upon hundreds of prisoners here. Jesus. I'd say one of you boys might find this interesting. Is this, was it like masterwork? It's magical. Oh. Uh, what do I need to, what, what skill do you roll to see how good it is? Is it spellcraft? Or uh, it? yeah. Finn identified that it's at least plus one magic. What does that say about it? This yeah. is an older style of, it's steel. I mean, somebody, somebody made it to be a masterwork scythe in honor of the god of death to be an executioner's weapon. Probably it was an executioner's weapon like a thousand years ago before Tar-Tar-Bafan took over Ustalav. 
So this thing predates the lich. It predates... Oh, getting such a strong smell of weed from my window, Harrison. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. It's a skunk. It might not be Harrison. Wow, that's potent. I can't tell the difference. I'm such a noob. Anyway. This weapon's like a thousand years old. Made with the old... Old followers of death. Probably the people who made this... Made it in honor of Phrasma, but that's not what they called her. They probably had their own name for her. It's just why the symbol is weird. It definitely used to have some gems in it that were ripped out of it. Are and the gems just decoration, or do they mean something? Don't know. Or unknown. Okay. Unknown. They are definitely... The, the gem sockets are tied into the rune work, so probably they were involved in its power somehow. Okay. And this weapon probably has some history, and somebody thought it would be appropriate to bring it to or buy it for Harrowstone and use it to kill more people here. Oh, that's a good knowledge history check. And knowledge ability. Damn. Okay. Does anybody else have knowledge history that could assist? I no. I can assist. Govira. Govira. Wait, I only see... Darn, I thought I did. No, I have Arcana Local Religion. Okay. I actually roll local. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, cancel you. <laughs> Whore! Oh, wow. 26. I'm yeah. gonna give it to you. Between Denvaya's knowledge history, I'm gonna allow your knowledge local to assist Denvaya's history because you know the local history better than Denvaya does because she's a traveler. Kind the two of you put together that this is a famed executioner's weapon used by a number of heathen kings and warlords. It was used by the Ustalavian army to kill deserters and captured enemy POWs. It Somehow ended up at Harrowstone. Its name is Skein, S K E I N. And it is definitely an executioner's scythe with the symbol of Phrasma. It was forged a long, long time ago for an ill fated mission for what would become uh, the Church of Phrasma. And the champion that bore it, this is the story, this is the legend, this might not be true at all, but the story that you heard is that the champion that bore it returned alone, headless, and strapped to his horse, with the weapon still clutched in his hands, a warning to the Lady of Graves' disciples to never underestimate their enemy. And it has a few abilities, let's see... Let me flick it so it's identified. You guys can look this up at will, but I'll read it out. While holding the weapon with both hands and touching a corpse, the wielder can recite the proper death rites of Phrasma, causing a sanctified corpse spell to be cast. Oh. This lasts oh. 24 hours as normal, but if a 500 gold piece or higher value gem or object is offered in sacrifice, and it like disappears, it's destroyed, then the sanctified corpse effect is permanent. Skane automatically metamagic extends any hide from undead or detect undead spells cast by its holder. Ooh. And it is a plus one magic scythe. And it can be used as either a two-handed weapon or a double weapon. A double weapon? Uh-huh. Okay. What's that? Like a two-bladed sword. It means you can attack oh. twice with it. Okay. And uh, it does 2d4 with uh, it does 2d4 either time, but the first time it does slashing damage and crits times four, and the second time it the uh, second attack is usually blunt. So it does 2d4 per attack. Uh huh. Wow. So it's like. It's it's two-handed, which is bad, and it does 2d4, which is a little bit better than a longsword. Longsword does 1d8, 2d4, slightly higher average, lower bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's bad, but 
when it crits, it does times four. That's a lot. And if you coup de gras someone with it, they're fucking dead. <laughs> and it can sanctify corpse. Yup. It'll cut and your head off and make sure you never come back as undead. Do Dismas and I know the proper death rites of Phrasma and can recite that? That is a DC 10 knowledge religion check for anyone who follows Phrasma. Okay. Am I proficient with this thing because it's a double sword? Yep. You both are. You and Dismas both can use it fully. The Phrasma powers or the melee. Oh, wow. And it's plus one magic. I want to take this thing. This is a pretty direct upgrade from my current sword. Does anybody mind if I take this? No. I punch him in the face and steal it. <laughs> okay. It's in this chest right here. Disbanding our group for all of time. <laughs> no, sounds good. I was going to say, looks like one of you guys should take up. I can't open this chest. Maybe I need to refresh already. my browser. Uh, no, actually, I think you can't because my loot sheet thing is busted. So, yeah, you might not be able to open it. Where do you want this stuff? So it's the Wand of Cure Light. Yeah. And the Scythe. And then the Cologne, which is probably valuable. And was that it? Am I forgetting anything? I took the scroll. Did you put that on my sheet, Toby? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Tim, you're a strength wielder, right? Yeah. You can either use it uh, as a two-bladed weapon, and the other end will be like, you know, 1d6, 1d8, bludgeoning, times two on a crit. Or you could use it two-handed so that you get strength and a half on a single swing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take the scythe. Okay. Give a... I think give Dismas the Cure Light one, then. I don't want to take two things for the chest. Okay. If ever Dismas can't use it, then, you know... But, I mean, he has lay on hands. You have no way of healing your things, and you get hit all the fucking time. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm getting hit, I want to be hitting. Yeah, you want me to be hit. I would put it on the range guy. Okay. And then if Dismas ever is downed or something, you know, Gaspar can walk over and pull it off his belt and use it. Yeah. So it's available to the party. Alright, I've put the wand on Dismas. I've put the scythe on Gaspar. Who wants the cologne? Should you leave it here? Find more Finn. cologne later if we leave this here now. That's right. Finn wants it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I will put it on Finn. You now have some really stanky cologne. A fucking musky. Musky, bro. Like super musky. Okay. Throw it on your sheet. There you go. It's under your miscellaneous. Enjoy that. What is next? Tim is still setting up his beautiful guy. I'm going to make it so that you can. Because you actually want to be able to do the other dual wield swing as a blunt. Let's see. Yeah, for skeletons. Mm hmm. So, that's going to do. Six. That's going to be bludgeoning. That's only going to be times two. Okay. Because it's dual wielding, you get minus two to hit. So that's built in. Okay. really want to clobber somebody, the two-handed swing uses the blade, does not have the minus two, and does indeed get strength in half. Yeah, that'll be good. Thanks. Let's 
see. So when you click it, power attack. Oh. Mm. Jeez, mm. that sound. Meaty. It is meaty. <laughs> Five Foundry, so cool. I can actually make the blunt swings make a different sound. Crazy pants. Okay, what's next, team? Well, we were just on our way out uh, to infirmary? Father Grimbrook. <laughs> nah, come on. But we have to clear. Oh, you're right. I keep. Ah! Okay, fine. Infirmary. Getting out of the way. We're going to rest. Let's blow our load. Hmm. Let's blow yeah. our load. <laughs> oh, that was oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was your other swing, Tim? Yeah, that's the blunt yeah. end. It's big nice. flying. Wait, do it again, do it again, do it again. Go ahead, Tim, try it. Make sure it works. It's under inventory. <laughs> nice. So, a full attack would be swing this. It's a bunch of clicking for you. That's all right. And then this would be the other one. Yep. Nice. That's a miss and a miss. But if you'd hit, it would be 22 damage of any type. Like, you know, the blade can do slashing or piercing. And then the blunt part does bludgeon. So it's great. And then the nice. two-handed is just a big haymaker. And if oh, you coup de gras someone... Time. Yeah, if you coup de gras... <laughs> I mean, if, for example, if you coup de gras with that two-handed swing, uh, that would be 56 points of damage. Oh... Jesus. Yep. Whatever it is, it's dead. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Infirmary. Infirmary sounds good. Infirmary is to the north. Okay. I'm going to use the restroom, but just keep clearing rooms with my body. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Okay. Did we try this door? We did not. Do you want to try it real quick? What door? You, this one here. Across the hall uh, to, the, to the west. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <sir. laughs> Thanks. Right in front of you, dumbass. This, this one. <laughs> um, um, it was the one that was too, like, straight across from the, uh, is, the infir is it the infirmary or it's? Infirmary to the north. It is to the north. Okay, so Josh this is the one, one that's on the. induction chamber. Oh, the induction. Okay. That's yep. induction. Yeah. Uh, Gasper Thank first. You. I'm behind. Everybody else. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> okay. Tim is AFK, so if someone could move him. Can I move him? I could try. No, I cannot. Okay, so you want Tim to open the door? Yeah, Gasper first, and I'm right behind. Okay. Let me see if the Did flavor it... text for this room is any good. Did it become morning just now? No? Because I could... Oh, I can see a lot more rooms. Was that a mistake? Uh... I don't know. Oh, alright. I don't think so. I usually can't see stuff, so... Yeah, not sure why not. Okay, I won't complain then. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a miracle. Yeah. Old wooden benches lie in ruins along the walls. Rusty chains and bits of rotten rope are scattered across the floor. Uh, uh, he looks uh, in the room and uh, that's what he sees. Okay. Uh, let's do a search just in case. Going in there? Yep, search it just in case. Okay. You and Gaspar go in there and we will roll initiative. Of course. We'll attack you with some bullshit. Crab spiders are still right here. Hang on. Well, I clean up my initiative tracker. Please do. Get out of here. Get out of here. That's one thing I hate. It's a cluttered it's initiative. A dirty, tracker. skanky initiative tracker. That's right. Okay. Everyone should roll a niche if you have a little. Uh, oh, I don't think mine did. Try again. Oh, did it go? It. I don't. Did not yet. There's Kovira. Gasper, garbage, didn't buy a good, natural 20, thin, 16. Okay. Pretty quick. 
Dismas AFK, I think. Yes. Nope, there he is. He is super fast. Uh, Dismas, you were probably over here closer. Mm -hmm. And as they move into the room, unfortunately. You all hear a faint sobbing and the clanking rattle of chains. And you're filled with a momentary sensation of hopelessness and the strange feeling of heavy manacles clamping over your wrists. And several of the old sets of manacles in the room start rattling and moving on the floor. Dismas, you may react right now. It's your turn. Oh yeah, this is definitely skunk. This is this is way weirder than any weed could be, I think. <laughs> if it's really punching, it's skunk. It's gotta be a skunk. Such a dork, I can't even tell the difference. Awesome. Maybe there's a skunk outside my window smoking weed. Also a possibility on Chautauqua. Dismas, uh, if you're talking, you're muted, sir. But mm -hmm. oh, sorry, can I know a little? Um, I don't. Should should I see a token, or is the thing in here invisible to us? They are here. Here, you identify which ones you think are going to move against the party. They are wiggling all over the room. So you see rattling chains, and what you're seeing here is not what specific ghosts or undead entities, but another haunt. God damn it! Animaticals. So the it's not a so the uh, the haunt is these are these are as opposed to being five separate. What you're saying is as opposed to being five separate ghosts that are possessing manacles. This is like yeah. a spirit that's just like. Um, fucking around with these mantles. It, think of it as instead of this being five mages, this is like one fireball. Yeah. But disabling the manacles would disable... Yeah, you can blast them. Yeah, you can blast them with positive energy. You can try to destroy them physically. Oh. Uh, obviously, a haunt siphon would be amazing right now. Yeah, well, uh, but I can... Can shoot the manacles. Um, but like blast lock, blast lock destroys a lock. Do this these, mecha these mechanicals, these manacles count as one large lock because as as they both have a lock on them and they are like kind of like a people lock. So I'm when it him. says, <laughs> he's right. Go. <laughs> when it I says mean, yeah. that the lock is destroyed, that's some deep rules, Larry. <laughs> I, could I could I disable one of the the potential of one of these manacles with the blast lock utility shot? Is what I'm asking. Are you done? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you because it seemed to be going so well, but you had me at blast lock. <laughs> Go ahead, proceed. Oh yeah. Um, at will. What uh, what strength? Are these Never one to interrupt a good rules lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, are they, we dealing with, uh, like, average, good, superior? Well, when they were used on prisoners, they were probably pretty weak, just basic iron shackles. But they are now haunted, so they're probably a little better than that. Okay. Um, so I'll get, I'll make an attack roll, and then <laughs> if it is, uh, it starts at 7 AC, and then if it's simple, it gets 10, average is 15, good is 20. Uh, superior is 30, so... They're not superior. Uh, they're pr I'm gonna say they are 17. Okay. Because they're enchanted better than they, they were, but still not great. And if you blast them, that means they are unlocked? Uh, yes. Okay. And this is a gunslinger trick, or paladin? Yeah, this is a... Okay. This is a No, I don't have uh, any ammunition left. 
that's why I was sh sh stabbing things. Oh, oh no. That's wrapped as well. Um, that gets a that gets a bonus. Uh, that was just a, a regular ranged attack, but with the gun, it's uh, it, it's seventeen. Okay. You blast it. You hit it straight just as you mean to, right across the lock, and it shatters into a dozen pieces, and the one manacle that's left whole ends up just bouncing off the wall, the bullet bounces off it, and it's just spinning at incredible speed on the ground, and then it falls down, just clunks on the ground. Did you go for this one close to you? Where'd you go for it? Yeah. It's gone. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Four more. Okay, but also, I think that ability should work on warlocks. <laughs> Don't press your luck, Council. Oh. oh wait. My stuff is not working. Harrison, I could see that you just fired up Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> That's how Steam yeah. friends list work. That is how Steam. Yes. It's uh, it, it says that though when it's just the launcher, not the game. Mm-hmm. Come check, bro. Come check. I step in and hit it with a channel. Okay. You channel. Yeah, you'll hit them all in this one right now with this. So, let's see. Say, we'll say. One of them makes it. So you three. You three take that full damage. And this one take that half damage. All but one of them are destroyed. They instantly just burn in holy light and shrink back to the ground. According to the party, there is a haunted set of handcuffs in here to the right. You're not sure if this is some sort of, like, S trick to get you into some sort of S&M scheme with the party, but that's what they tell you. Do I have to move in closer before I do anything? Yeah. Okay. But I have to do the thing where I, like, uh, 15 or whatever? Yeah, you can, like, move just... here, and then you can see the enemy to the north. Oh, I thought I had to, like, count my steps or something. Uh, you do. That's 10 feet, but you also have another 20 feet to go, so you could go melee it. Or, if you want to stand back here, you could zap it with, say, a jolt. Ooh, let's do a jolt, because I haven't done that yet. Let's do a jolt. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wait, how do I do that? It is under your magus abilities. And it's a little light. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Click that bit. Yes. Oh. Oh. Super uh, loud. Hell I yeah. I took shock damage from that sound effect. <laughs> Fuck Shit. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think Foundry did something and reset all my audio levels, so I'm sorry. It must have. Yeah. Um, Everything's super hot. Hell yeah. That drops it. This room was a joke. You're out of combat. Blast lock. That was. I didn't expect that one. Manacle free. Okay. Search it. We searched the room. Searcher. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna fuck all in here, but we do it anyway. Yep, just a bunch of ruined manacles in here. Not much of value. Uh, some of the manacles usable as manacles. We could manacle them together to make rope to get down the pit. To make manacles? Oh, yeah. Wow. Sid, where were you on that one? <laughs> you got... you. Yeah. If yeah, no, I was loading. Flat up here. Let's tighten it up. I'm usually... I'm usually quicker than that. So, where to next? 
Uh, infirmary? Sure. We'll do the infirmary, infirmary and then we'll pause? Yeah. Okay. Infirmaries to the north and the east. Okay, same stack. Same stick. Which Double doors, doors to the north stick indicate the infirmary. It right you can too. see there's signs and there's... There's actually yeah, sort the, of dirty windows down. you can look through into the room before you open the door if you wish. Nah. Now just kick open the doors? Okay. Just kick it. Kick it! Da, 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 Kicking da, da, da. it! Wait, is everyone here? Uh, yes, I'm right, I'm right on your behind. Here comes I don't know yeah, where everybody yeah. else is. Yeah, you got Dinvai and, and uh, Dismas there. And there's Finn. Okay. Finn was over here. She was fine. All right, here we go. Do you wish to look in first or just kick the doors? I look in first. You look in. There's nothing. You can't see anything. No. The room. Oh, there it goes. Who opened the fucking door? It was Kovira. You see several moldy I cots. Touch it. I know. I'm just. <laughs> I can't actually tell who did it. Uh, that secret stays with the person. So that's lovely. <laughs> it's usually Charles. That's true. If Charles is here, I have to fuck it. If Charles is here, I have to lock down the tokens all the time. He's a little corner peeker. Okay, in there you can see there's a lot of moldy cots strewn around the room. There's some private sleeping cells on the side. The door's mostly hanging partly open. This is definitely looks like a prison infirmary. There's just sort of tools and cast aside rotting cloth everywhere. Um, it's just kind of a messy, messy little medical room okay I cast divine favor because every room has monsters in it yep every room and if this is the one room that doesn't have monsters in it it'll be because we cast buff spells mm -hmm. that's right so either way the spell is effective I now have three stacks of divine favor on my token <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay, I'm not here we sure go. why that happened, but that was funny. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we gotta adjust your buff. There's your third, which affects... Eventually, it affects how much you get from Divine Favor, so... Oh. You wanna make sure that they have their proper level. Oh, level 31, Shield of Faith! <laughs> that would be Raw. monstrous. Okay. You enter the room, and nothing happens. Oh, yeah? My bunny hopped through the room like a psycho. Okay. <laughs> Begin ripping open adjacent doors with murder patients in them. Nothing happens. Does anyone else go in? Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm in. Okay, <clears throat> then something happens. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, he was mid ape when I paused, so he got to fly across the room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get into combat. Let's. I miss. I got the dismiss combat. There we go. Party can roll Inish. Okay. This room is filled with cots and medical supplies and unfortunately clamps, knives, scalpels, scissors. And as you guys enter the room and Gaspar is sprinting back and forth across the room, bunny hopping apparently. <laughs> Virtually every one of dozens of scalpels and other tools and objects, broken glass, little bits of metal, some blunt instruments, little trays, bedpans, everything starts floating three to four feet off the ground. And there is a hideous and terrifying scream that echoes through your ears, through your minds, you feel it through your bodies as this terrifying creature appears in the center of the room. 
and Fuck. it spins its body, and every object in the room just violently flies across the room. And some of them fly through it, but it's intangible. And some of them strike you all. And it does this. And oh. Gaspar oh. takes four. Dinvaya hits you for five. Kovira, you are narrowly missed. Dismas, you have a... You are missed. Bounces off your armor. And as it does this, you can all make will saves. I love watching all the cursors fly to the top left of everyone's <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. If you rolled under a 14 and you can be frightened, you are frightened. I think Dismas is immune. Oh, so I'm not dying. Yeah. Dinvaya, you are frightened. Oh. If you are within 10 feet of me, you also get a plus 5 on that save. I'm sorry I was muted, but I'm... Oh, Kovira <laughs> and Dinvaya each get a plus from Dismas. That makes you make it, Dinvaya. Thanks to Dismas, you make your first Cool, save. thank you. Kovira, nothing can possibly save your garbage roll. And you thank are you. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's like, fear not. You're still... F no, you're still fearing. Uh, Dismas, she turns around and, like, freaks, full-on freaks out right in front of you, and you grab her by the shoulder and say, no, we can do this. You know, you encourage her, and yet she just slaps your hands off of you and looks like she's about to run for the door. Close the door on me. Yeah, just close the door so she can't get out. That would be fun. <laughs> we must deal with this as a team. Uh, that's, that'd be some legit paladin shit. No one leaves. <laughs> is she? Wait. No one is she frightened? Until we're dead. Yeah. She's frightened? Yeah, she's frightened. Yeah. I actually, wait, then I actually do close the door. <laughs> okay, that's your round, but you should. <laughs> what do you say? You gotta say something shitty here. Uh, um, uh, yeah, yes, uh... This is some tough love moment here. This, this is, uh... We, we, we cannot run from what frightens us. We must turn and face it, as all must face the end. Wow. <laughs> we go tied it back to Baratheon. Man, Damn. that started off kind of meh, and then ended fucking perfect. <laughs> Spicy. So yeah, the paladins decreed none shall leave the poltergeist. <laughs> Fuck you. And via this thing is five feet away from you, and oh yeah, yeah. At the end of its turn, you can roll knowledge, uh, religion for me. Okay. Poltergeists are. Uh, beyond your realm of understanding, with your total of seven. Oh, oh my God! I I know not, I know not what this creature. Ah. It appeared, Good. it screamed, it threw everything in the room at once at everyone, and now it is uh -huh. it, it is gone again. You can't see it. What? I can't. Uh. It's still in the room, though. You done do? You, you guys. I'm a seed on the combat. <laughs> God, it's sad. I'm a seed on the combat. Sad. Oh, you can combat see it on the tracker. combat tracker. Well, that's some fun meta knowledge you had. Oh uh, shit! Uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm too far away from Jinvaya's stupid ass to be affected by his crap roll or her crap roll, so I <laughs> run by use my own brain. But okay, but Jinvaya, what do you want to do on your turn while you are unsure what this creature is? I ready a spell. What's the spell? You don't need to know that. Yes, actually, I do. <laughs> actually, I do need to know that. You smug <laughs> son of a bitch. That's how this works. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know anything about what this. So I don't know if Channel would hurt it or not. But I'm gonna go. Uh, with Channel. It looked like an intangible ghost. So I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna prepare a uh, offensive channel. Okay. You prepare an offensive channel. Are you ready it for if it appears again? You blast it. Is that the yes? Okay. Yep. Understood. 26 knowledge religion poltergeists are intangible ghosts they are spirits of rage and they are permanently invisible every time it appears it will appear only on its turn it will scare the shit out of somebody everybody and it will throw everything in the room 
They're really all the quite time, dangerous. All day. Yep. Nice. See, we saved the best for last, folks. It is most likely anchored to this room specifically. So if you run out, then it would not follow you. They're very location anchored, Poltergeist are. Mm -hmm. But it looks like the Paladin has <laughs> denied that avenue of retreat. <laughs> he wants to commit to victory. So As all Paladins do. Yeah, that is, I mean, to me, that is just paladins being paladins. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> mm. It's permanently invisible. Where was it? It was like right here. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to go swing it where it was. Okay. Perception. The game is paused. I will unpause the game. I yell, it's permanently invisible. It only shows up whenever it's attacking. It's very scary. <laughs> Sydney, we saw your cursor. Slam fucking on the, the door. That time. No. We can see your cursor is on the doors. It's on this table. <laughs> Foundry ratted you out pretty hard that time. It's not me, guys. No. I'm gonna activate like a gore, a gore ghost. Wow, well, a door ghost. Door ghost. Oh, gore ghost. Gore ghost. Gore Ramsey. Gordita. Oh, gordita. Oh, Deep fried taco. Now. Deep fried tita. Where is Finn? Which one of you is standing inside Finn? Hmm. <laughs> It was Dismas. Okay. <laughs> it yeah. was Uncle Dismas. Finn, get out of the paladin. <laughs> Finn, make his fear save. I forget. I think something. Catholics. Oh, wow. Nope. Yeah. Well, you're allowed to make those jokes. Gaspar, what do you do on your turn? You're going over here? I'm trying to see it. it and swing at where it was. Okay, your How perception. much movement could it have if it turned invisible? Uh, I rolled a 20. I'm told that that definitely beats the bonus it gets from invisibility. <laughs> you are not able to perceive it. Alright, I swing at the hex directly to my left. Okay. Stupid dumb ghost doesn't know how to five foot. Ugh. That is an 11. You could potentially hit a peasant with that attack roll. In this case, it is insufficient for the enemy. Potentially being the key. Okay. <laughs> what are my options? Not many. Um... I think what Finn would do, uh, you do, you can roll me a, I don't see it, Knowledge Arcana. Yeah. Yeah, do me a Knowledge Arcana. Not terrible, you have a basic understanding of invisibility. You don't know what this thing is, but you know it attacked and then went <laughs> invisible. Gaspar seems to think it's in the middle of the room. So Finn tactically thinks one option to him is to go stand where it might appear again, somewhere around the room where Gaspar seems to think it is, and ready a swing. So the moment it appears, you swing at it. Mm. That's one okay. way you, you could go. Either that or wandering around the room hoping, but readying a swing is the only way to be sure if it's a thing that's only invisible for a second at a time. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So I'll just... Position somewhere in the middle of the room where you think the bad man might be. Okay. Yep. Good. Um. How do I ready a swing? Uh, you just declare it to me, and um. Oh. And okay. declare it to me, and because I'm a scatterbrained idiot, when you want it to happen, like if the thing appears and I forget that you're ready, go. Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. I swing. Okay. I want to swing now. I am prepared, okay, and you... I will remind you. You are prepared. <laughs> hmm. 
It's not me. I think me. we should all do that. That's the winning maneuver. Get out of there. We should all just spread out and swing. swings ready. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just plugging holes in a dam. I might be screwing us here. Okay, I'm gonna stop. No. Um, all the tours are now shut and locked. You see that Dismas has locked them all with his, <laughs> with his blast lock ability. We live in here now. We live here now. This is can our I, home. Can I cast Mage Hand to kind of just like feel around the room? Like float and feel around sure. the room? Sure. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> and squeeze the, po squeeze the ghost's butt. <laughs> um... I mean, it was either that or I was going to just cast grease everywhere and see where it floats. <laughs> <laughs> Only have one uh, grease studied per day, but you can mage hand. I will mage hand. Detect magic. This is wacky shit. We're going to die in here. Oh, yeah. Let's just no. cast detect magic in all directions. Yeah. One area radiates <laughs> magic, and then shoot now, that square. Roll me. That might actually work. And now, yeah. roll me a perception <laughs> check. Roll above 40. I would have to for this. You see Sid cast. You see Kovir cast a spell, kind of focus her mind, and waving her arms towards you, towards Dismas and Finn. And there's this little ghostly blue hand floating between Finn and Gasper, feeling and grabbing. You actually, you like, bonk into Finn's shoulder. No, that's that's a real person. You, like, like dis Gasper pushes the hand away with the tip of his weapon, and you're like, no, 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 that's not it. And you see the hand floating around in midair. It looks like it's, like, trying to grab a boob that's not there. You don't. You don't find like anything. Like you do. Like you do. Tight, 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 tight. Toit. Toit, toit, toit. Okay. Well, that did not work. <laughs> I think that job might have been doable with your regular hands. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. <laughs> For a moment, the monster. Doth appear. Uh. And for that moment, it terrifies everyone. Man, DC 14. My rolls are dog shit, but it doesn't matter. I feel nothing. Why did I not? <laughs> you guys all get plus five. Okay, I think I'm I'm not frightened anymore then. Have I out of channels, Toby? Uh God. Look. Is it? I've that triggered it. <laughs> oh, it you are go. zero out of seven. How did that happen? I Hang on, let me let me check. Let me check. Maybe you're. The train. <laughs> yeah. I thought I still had two left. I'm sorry. I think you probably did, but hang on. Let me just make sure the cost is set right because there was a bug oh, foundry a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Every time you channel, you Venmo me thirty dollars. It's the cost. <laughs> New bug. Okay. I Every know time John you're a little bitch, you fit mummy forty dollars, so it works out. Yeah, you're still broke then, aren't you? <laughs> Whatever, little bitch tits. Oh. You know what? Poltergeist got. got your butt in a knot. Activation cost is standard, but how many did you think you had left, Josh? Um, I thought I had two left. Okay. Trigger this. Okay. Just cost one. I don't know. Well, you can have this last one because we're about done anyway. So you blast it with channel because you had that ready. Finn, you have a ready swing, which you can take now. And yes. I will now. do my will save. No, oh, I need to will save too, don't I? Yeah, you do. Fails the will. You get plus four, Dismas? Plus four. Plus five. five. Plus five, because everyone except Gaspar is within ten feet of Dismas. You totally make your fear save. Anybody fail? Finn. Even with the plus, you have decided to be frightened. I'm scared. Kovira, with the bonus, you make it this time. So you are no longer frightened. 
and you hit it with positive channeling. You can tell you hit it, didn't buy. You see it burned by the light quite a bit, and it sort of hisses and recoils. And Finn, let's have that swing. Do I I go to inventory? Do I do shocking grasp or you have to, because another thing you know, both from these guys and recent past experience, is that if you don't put a magic spell in your weapon, the blade will pass right through the ghost. It will do nothing. You do not own a magic weapon. And that is a pretty poor swing that yeah. unfortunately misses. Yeah. Okay, so there went the ready channel. There went the... Okay, now I get to throw knives at everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, he's going to run out of knives at some point. 11, 10, 9, 9. It rolled a 5, a 4, and a pair of 3s. It hits Damn. no one this round. Noise. Congrats. This is a little, little bitch polar ghost, ain't it? Wow. Wow. Say that again to my fucking lack of a face. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Uh, that is its turn. And it, unfortunately, because it's awesome, turns invisible again. Hi. Five foot here, and pour holy water into this square. Okay. Make me a... I think do like a ranged, like a dex attack. A ranged attack. I think the item will do everything. It does it all. Okay. You fling this holy water. You just sort of create a fruit juice commercial and fling it in a beautiful arc across the room and you see some of it, a good two thirds of what he sprays across the room hit something intangible and sizzle in the air that definitely, that definitely burned it so I am out of channels? I think so okay, I still don't know how that happened um just uh, gross pro neg negligence, really. Just yep. Poor choices, start to finish. Well, it's kind of lack of judgment. Been, Probably drug influence. It's um, been my last year and a half, bro. All poor, right. Uh, poor family life, you know, lack of discipline growing up. Uh, pro evil communal. Would uh, that be a good idea? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why not? I would give everybody plus two on their saves against it, and plus two armor class against its flung stuff. Alright, I cast Pro Evil Camino. Okay, boom. Everybody receives that. Let me see here real quick for you. I don't know if I made a button. Nope. There it goes. Everyone has Pro Evil. Um, so Dismas just poured holy water on it right here. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm five foot north and swing it where the holy water landed. Okay, roll an attack. I do that. Oh, there's no against undead option in this two-handed swing. What do you mean? Like the little box you checked when it's against undead, so it gives you the bonus. How? how it's plus four. Oh, I undead? need to add your conditionals. Oh, I'll do. do that. I'll do that. Thanks. Let's I'm see. They're check. on your. They're on your two-bladed. Is that where they are? Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Bum, 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 bum. What is that on It's for the Halloween swing. Okay, so we do that. Halloween swing. Swing a ween. Jesus ween. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. Okay, and now the two-handed swing. Okay, it's now on all of your scythe swings. Thank you. Yeah. 
I just start wailing through that hex. Okay. I'm gonna go swing on, twice. Go on with it. Mm. <laughs> uh, roll me your 50% miss chance on the first one. We want a one. You miss? Do it again. We want a one. You miss. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. 100% 100 chance of failure somehow. Out of two 50% chances. What if I said we want a two? Okay. This just only rolls two. <laughs> it only am I, am rolls I typing two. Slash? Oh. Are you slashing? Type slash two. Fucking idiot. I nah. want a one. Slash two. Return. Okay, I'll just do this. I want a one. Ah. Let's try this next time. Type <laughs> slash fail. Okay, Finn. No. It's invisible ah. again. But now you think you know where it was, and you think you just saw Gaspar hit it. So now you can swing with a 50% miss chance, or you could ready another swing and go I, that way. I think I'll ready a swing. Okay. Yeah. You ready another swing? Yeah. You're still frightened a little bit, which gives you some negative. She's crazy with her cooker. Uh, okay. I'm gonna five foot hop here. Or, sorry, ten foot. And then... I guess just swing here. Yeah. Uh, you swing. You're swinging which, which spot? It was. Oh, I'm not close enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, I swang, swang, you missed. You swung, swung in the air, swang, swang. chain swanging, clang and clang, and a clang, clang in a cuss. Clang clang in a cuss. Yep. Well, it's my turn. And I give you one of these. Dismas makes it automatically. Kovira makes it on her own. I get plus five for being near my friend. Uh, Vaya makes positive. it. Finn plus fails with spectacular. Oh. Spectacular. Plus crush. with the plus seven from or is she? I don't know. If she's close to. Yeah, plus seven. Whatever she the still. Damn. Finn still fails. Damn. Damn. Listen. I don't want it. It just means you are continuing to be uh, frightened. Okay. Uh, start around the horn here. Gaspar, that misses because of Pro Evil. Yay! And Finn, that misses because you're hard to hit. Dismiss, that misses because you're hard to hit. And Dinvaya, that misses because you have a great armor class. So, yeah. The just hundreds of little knives and sharp objects and like i said bed pans bottles of whatever glass shards are flying around the room hitting you guys over and over but it just didn't didn't draw any blood this turn oh wait wait do i have a do I have ready a swing fire yeah fire away ready swing okay okay that will miss you have rolled Pissity poop uh, four, which is unfortunate. Sad. Yeah. Oh, Dismas. <laughs> I had two. Wow. Uh, you notice that Finn has taken such a wild and awkward swing at the in the wrong direction that. You are startled by this, and you just dump the holy water all over Finn. Just, just douse him, just to make sure he might have been possessed. It, it was an awkward swing. So you might just that's, that's might be anyways. So can't even blame you. Yeah, you notice that it. You're, you're actually comforted, Finn, because when the holy water is poured over your head, it doesn't burn you. You feel fine. Yeah, just I'm good wet. to go. I yeah. ready a hand of the acolyte. Hell yeah. I'll 
learn my lesson. I ready a swing. Wait, I five foot here though. Fuck this. Ready so, a swing with flank. Can I only ready a swing, or like, would it be advisable to ready like one of my jolts? Or you could ready a jolt. That's fine. Yeah. What is, wait, you're, what is... You're, at this point in the day, you're actually out of Shocking Grasp. You've used it oh, all, your, all your times. Oh, okay, golly. Well, I will Ooh. ready a jolt. Then. Just a little Aunt Mila creeping through there. <laughs> oh, golly. Ready that jolt. Ready to jolt. Oh, Vera. Gonna hop here. Hell yeah. Swing here. Okay, roll it. I don't remember if he moved. If he did, then that's too you bad. You don't for me. know. You don't know. That's not good. That's uh, a ten. That's not a good. I that's know. a ten. The I good. know it's not good. Uh, see how you feel about this. Whoa, I didn't see this coming. Oh, shit. I swing too. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. Beat his ass. As the <laughs> poltergeist <laughs> appears, it bursts into visibility as it does. It its eyes flare and glow reddish orange and it starts to scream and then it's like ah! oh! and it looks sort of shocked as everyone is around it with their weapons raised above their head and you all just beat the fuck out of it you just all fucking slam into it and oh, shut the fuck and it's dead <laughs> fuck <sighs> just so much angst and anger with this monster is dead you are out of combat Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Search the rim. Mm. All the goobles. We find everything. Thank you. You hold one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll describe the goobles to you. Ooh, Finn. Natural one. Oh my god, we're not getting anything out of this room. Holy shit. So many bad rolls. <laughs> okay, what do I see? A bunch of have blind oh, because... morons came. Was struggling. I got one hand up my butt. That's it. I Let found my butt. Okay. I like my butt. The high perception looks to be a twenty from Kovira, who finds the following items have not been smashed by the poltergeist. I found a scalpel. Three potions of cure light wounds. Two scrolls of cure light wounds. One scroll of cure moderate wounds. One potion of cure moderate wounds. There you go. Uh, who can use scrolls? Anybody that can cast those spells can use them with no check. All right, I'll take the scrolls. Is that okay? Uh, well, uh, Dismas and you and... Yeah, I should be able to take it. Dismas, Gaspar, and Dinvaya can use them with no roll. Wow. The rest of you would have to roll like a 20 or 25 on your use magic device. It'd be tough. Uh, yeah, I say split up the potions between all the melee that don't have use, and then whoever can use a scroll, take a scroll. So you want a potion of cure on Finn? Yep. You want a cure mod on Finn? He has cure lights already. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay, putting the Cure Moderate Potion on Finn is a potion that heals you or others if you ever want to use it. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, also, you have a Ray of Frost Wand, which is another thing you can use in addition to Jolt. You don't want to use cold stuff on Undead, though. You want to use Jolt. Um, okay, three potions of Cure Light. Where are they going? Um, I think I have a bunch of potions. Let me see what I got. I got a potion of cure mod. I could take one potion of cure light, I suppose. 
Can you imagine if we found this room when we were first? We'd be like, oh my god! <laughs> Goobles! Run for your life! Okay. Uh, who else gets Potion of Cure Light? Uh, anybody else want one? I'll take sure. One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, no, all you, all you. Yeah. And uh, uh, we got two more. I'm putting it on Kovira. Kovira, you were out of them. Now you have one. Okay, so that leaves one scroll of Cure Mod, two scroll of Cure Light. I can't. Uh, I'll, I'll take the mod. Can I cast Scrolls of Cure Light? Yeah. I'll take those. I love reading. I'm a gnome reader. Really? You're a gnome reader? Yeah, I read gnomes. <laughs> this is, read. This is a, a great departure from his normal, like, zombie survival game character who cannot read. <laughs> Violently opposes anyone reading. Tries to talk that others is... out of reading. That is the meta, and I will not hear otherwise. <laughs> okay, we're going to pause here in a second, but do you guys want to go back to town first, or do you want to stay here? I, I think we're just staying here forever, no matter what we do. <laughs> go back to town. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Not mm -hmm. to town. Just to the Temple of Phrasma. Oh, Phrasma, yes. Okay, I'm going to move the characters down the hall. I'm going to park them at the entrance, like a bit. And we're going to go to the town map. And the party was over here having a good time at Lady Faravin's house with the Ouija board. I missed that. Maria. It's some real stupid it's pretty funny. stuff happening. Yeah. Go to the Temple of Phrasma, and what are we doing here? Uh, we want the Mosswater Marauder's Hammer, maybe okay. the Ghost Axe, and we can we burn the Splatterman Spellbook? Would that destroy it? Yeah, you could destroy it. Let's destroy it. You think destroy it? Yeah, because he's going to want it back, so we I don't want think, it. I don't think you've opened it yet. I think Todd had it. Todd opened it and was cursed, and we had to fix that shit. <laughs> so let's do it again. Let's just curse Todd some more. Okay, well, we will park at the Temple of Phrasma, and we will take this up there next time. Okay. Good job, everybody. Yeah, thanks for running. GG times. Yeah. GG. Many Good things times. were accomplished. That's true. A lot of progress. And you met Soriana. A lot of fuckers. Allied with her, understood things a little better, and got some loot. 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 All right, fine, folks.